Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle. Check it, check it, check it. This is Unique Hustle. It's your boy, ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing official, Miss Jamaica. What's going on? No, 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 I want y'all to stop what you're doing right now. Go like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. And what I mean all, I mean all. I mean our Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, you name it, we're on it. Just Google us, Boss Talk Podcast 101, and we will pop up first in line, I guarantee you. But if you want to see our visuals, you got to go over to our YouTube channel. There you see all our visuals. Don't forget to hit subscribe and that notification bell because you don't want to miss out on any of this dope content that we bring it out every single day. But if you want to see the exclusive stuff, because you know we got something that we hiding from y'all. You got to sign up for our membership. And how you do so is under each and every video, including this one in the description section right down here below. There's a link that says join our membership. Click that link, follow the instructions, and that's how you can get on board with seeing everything way ahead of time. Thank you in advance. Have a blessed day. Hey, man, listen, man. We got a guy in here today. He's never been on the show before, man. This guy's <laughs> new. It's going to be a dope show. I've been waiting to get him on the show. I know you guys been trying to figure out who we going to have on next. Well, he's here. Rainwater's in the building. Y'all got a long ass intro now. That's my wife, man. It get longer than that. I didn't want to say nothing. You sound like a crooked pastor. <laughs> <laughs> Ray, Ray, I see you riding around in a truck with Scope. I don't know if you got a new podcast. I don't know what the hell going on. What was y'all doing? Uh, I just called it. I loved it though. I love the you know the behind the scene look. Like okay, what is this nigga doing? It's something you know. I wake up and come up with something. It was hard. I like it. It's more that I took them to Oak Cliff. I took them to Deep Ellum. I rode around. Took them to the West End train station. What, was uh, this this all in preparation of the Mo Three uh, album anticipation? Yeah, I'll be waking up just trying to come up with something, just trying to figure it out. Yeah, I got to make it go top three in the world. A lot of people are waiting I'm to see. For, a lot yeah. of you you made people wait on this album so long, and you, you we don't want it to be an anticlimactic event. Yeah, the worst thing can happen to me is another rapper die, and they go to get them top two spots. Like DMX did that shit on me, and uh, I don't need nobody else to do it. I think we go. I think we go pass up right now. Uh, Sixty Red just took number one. Um, we'll be right there. We'll be neck and neck, neck and neck. Yeah, no, nah, for real. Man, I, I I look at I look at things from a whole different perspective when it come down to this music industry, man. And I be trying to figure out who's next in Dallas, man. You give me all my insight a lot of time on the new cats. What what do you see in Dallas right now? Don't go off because I'm telling you, they watching you. They want to hear what you got to say about this Dallas movement. Uh. Man, you got them drill niggas. Um, you got the drill niggas. You got, you know, the Z nerds in Montana. Uh, I think Sean, Sean, Sean Cotton artist, uh, Four Ants, he gonna pass the album up quick. He out of Dallas? Yeah, Dallas. And uh, I think uh, Motion Chavo go pass them up too. Uh, that's the one I just signed. Uh, I don't wanna deal with no more black artists. No more niggas. Mm. But I thought you got, you still got my boy, don't you? Who? My boy. Bumpy? Yeah. Bumpy, cool. Bumpy just don't work hard. What you mean he don't work hard? Man, I listen, I, where I came up to the conclusion is, I can't want him more than the rappers. And that's every rapper that I've been around since my three died. I've been trying to push them to be stars when they got to want to be stars. Well, ain't no way I do more interviews than them and put out more content than them and stay relevant when they actually the artists. So if I got to call your phone two or three times a month and two or three times a week and say, post this or go do an interview or shoot a video, drop this, drop this, you don't want to be no star. And I, I've been forcing it. Ever since Mo3 died, every rapper I ever had, I lost, I lost $300,000 to Baby C trying to force him to be a star. You know what I'm saying? No, I lost 100000 trying to force him to be a star. So at the end of the day, I'm not going to force nobody to be a star no more. Like, like, like I can't I can't want it more than you when God don't bless me. I, I just sit back, I sit back and I don't think, I said, Mo3 probably looking at me like, you dumbass. Mm -hmm. I done put you in position to get, where we put you in position where you make millions. And you going back trying to help these niggas who don't want it. What would Mo3 say if he was dealing with the same situation? He would laugh. At the same time right now that you're dealing with with the Bumpy Johnson, with the number seven, the Dun Dun, uh, with all of the people, the Pink Pressure, all the people that you done dealt with, the Baby C's, what would Mo3 say to you right now? He said, I told you. He told me. I, he the reason why I, I'm the reason why he signed Dun Dun to seven. He said, I told you. And I wish I could tell him too. 
all the time you buy them chains for people and you did this, do that. We we did that for nothing. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm not, I don't I think I want right now is Mexicans. I'm, I like the Mexican rap. They lawyer. They ain't on time. I watch, for the Money Man concert, I told Sean, Sean said, can my artist come with y'all? I was like, yeah. I said, be here. I said, he said, well, Sean said, what time are you walking in? I said, 8 o'clock. Sean told him to be there at 7.30. Right, I came late on the way there. I rode through. I rode down Harry Hines for no reason. Caught a, I caught a flat on Harry Hines. I'm riding around Harry Hines with a flat tire. Do, 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 do. So I'm sitting there saying I'm too old for this shit. I, I'm at the tire shop with Harry Hines. The dudes calling me. I Facetime, turn the camera around like, bro, I'm on. I got a flat. He's like, okay. I didn't get there for two hours later. That boy sat in the car and waited on me two hours later. One of my artists, I told him meet me at eight o'clock. He told me. Man, I ain't gonna make it, make it there to like nine. Then he showed up with a whole bunch of niggas. That messing came too deep. Two or three people. And he and then I told I told him we ain't gonna let him perform because we came late. That's okay, bro. We'll get him next time. I fuck with it. Wow. Wow. I know why Mexican OT. I, I went to Houston. I mean Mexican OT talking on the phone a couple of times, but not really. I I seen him. He turned around, rainwater gave me a hug and and, and and you want some liquor and you want this and you want that and it's only it's it's only it's a huge club only fifteen people in the club, ten with him and five on the next uh, nobody showed to the club. He started DJing having a good time. So I sit there saying maybe God tell me to stop fucking with these niggas. <laughs> right, every nigga ain't the same nigga. I ain't fucking with no more rap or. I no. don't think that's the way to look at it, man. Yes, you gotta want it. You can't set up and, and just judge everybody going through all of one the nigga bad before you can find one good. Yeah, yeah. You, I, but if, I ain't got time to go through it no more. I, I found it. I found it. I, 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 I like a, I like a Mexican artist. I'm gonna blow one up. Now I'm gonna take them to Trailer Village. We gonna do. We gonna do because you, it, it's it's free every week. Shit to promote. It's the easiest thing to promote. We up here, we up here worried about niggas who beefing with each other, killing each other. You can't go on this side of town. He can't go on this side of town. When these people here are together, and they want it. They want it more than us. We 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 have been around this around this hip hop for so long, getting free fucking money, and now niggas is comfortable. Niggas ain't hungry no more. Rain ain't nobody right now going. Ain't nobody topping uh, right now according to the street zillionaire door in Montana, uh, seven hundred. We're in Dallas. In Dallas. Oh, for for so, it, for answer, boo. Sean posted him one time and he getting offers more than anybody in Dallas, Texas, who? right now. Sean, for answer, for answer, yeah. Sean posted him one time and he get more. He get he, he, he Hispanic. Yeah, yeah. He and he get more offers than anybody. Like they're trying to walk him into the label, give him a million dollars with no, with not one sound, one hit. Man, you think I'm finna stay in this? And, and, and you think I'm finna stay with this ethnic group? Fuck them! But nah, I've been telling man. people that it's I've seen where a lot of Hispanics are coming up in the music industry right now, in the rap game right now. And we listen. It's been a we it's are a re, thing. listen. We listen, are we man. are retarded. Listen, down here it's more black people and more Mexicans than black people, right? That's whoa, Mexican OT and D Baby going for fifty thousand. Mm -hmm. Mexican OT going for 40,000. Our top rapper, Big X, going for 30,000, 20,000 less. Because they stick together and they come up with fellas. Well, they don't worry about nobody getting shot, nothing. Right, that, um, that's because didn't you did. Baby you, get um, that, no, shot up? No, no, he didn't get, he shot, didn't get shot, shot, but didn't they shoot after him? No, that was somebody, that was somebody, that was somebody else. else. Yeah. Oh, okay. You can't, they trying to put anything negative on no, that. No, but D Baby got into a fight with uh with with Young Easy. Mm. I did yeah, see one, that. One, Wolfpack got in a one on one fight. They ain't shoot nobody. They ain't die. Nobody died. No, no. You put you put our flea market against their flea market. Our flea market is Big T. Somebody get shot every month. They shot the biggest rapper, the, the, the Dallas biggest rapper, that Dallas rapper from out of town that Dallas been supporting for years, Boosie. Let a Mexican, let a Mexican superstar walk through Trailer Village. You gonna have every, everybody excited. I ain't no dummy, so I'm no now, right now. Man, if you if man stop fucking with these niggas, get you a Mexican girlfriend. They got ties to a Mex to a Mexican artist. Boys, you out your mind. Don't you know the black culture is what made rap really pretty man, much relevant? Are you them. out your mind? No, they too comfortable. I don't give a they, damn they, what you say, nigga. We be jamming, nigga. Yeah, but they, 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 too, they, too, they too comfortable. That's why, you know, they killing each other and, and they praising people that killing each other. And they doing this and doing that. And they, go, they looking out beef. They don't even buy each other. They, they don't even buy their albums. They burning my CDs. They burning my CDs. <laughs> now I know why Boosie was looking at that ceiling wishing he had a million. <laughs> yeah, straight up, man. Boosie said he coming back to Dallas. Coming, and what he said? Mm -hmm. He said he coming this back to Dallas. Be his first time coming back. He coming. He, I talked to myself. 
He said he coming. He coming. Security up. <laughs> yeah. Gonna have to be anyway. Yeah, you have to be in Dallas. Dallas is a wild, wild west. Why do you think Dallas is like that? Uh, cause uh, it started when that popcorn hit, right? When, when we were smoking regular Reggie weed, and when popcorn hit, it fucked up the whole generation. All these kids, seven what to eighteen, popcorn? it's 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 the mid grade of weed from all the way to hydro. It's the mid grade. Oh, okay. It's some weed that we thought was good weed that came from Arizona. Okay. And it's they drop they drop down to West Dallas. It's you know what I'm saying? It came from West Dallas. So that popcorn fucked up a lot of shit. Right? Like like it fucked up a lot of shit. So all these kids come from popcorn babies. Then they come from, now the generation after this, they come from handlebar babies. Because when I was going to school, we were stuck on handlebars. Handlebar time, times and handlebar babies are coming. Them black used to get them two for five. Right? They call them balls. So this generation after that, they gonna be Percocet babies. Mm-hmm. They gonna be worse. You gotta be a you you gotta be an ignorant motherfucker to pop a Percocet. But a lot of people do it, man. And you don't see all these people, bro. It's this beautiful white girl that I used to be cool with just died. It's just that not worse. Uh, yeah, no, no, but you don't know. But that's what's in these pills. It's 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 fentanyl in these handlebars. Handlebars okay. is worse than cocaine. Mm. Straight up. And you used to take it in high school. No, 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 no. We took we took handlebars. You said weed. So yeah. I mean, you used to take. Yeah, it. I took handlebars, not not Percocets. Okay, it's a different. Yeah, per, I took handlebars, Xanax. Okay, I took I not took one three or four times. That shit. But fat, but fentanyl was in those no. stuff too. Oh, oh, say it again. <laughs> fentanyl was in that, right? No, I don't think fentanyl was in no handlebars. Mm. Hey, it might was. Man, I seen niggas. I seen niggas. I seen niggas file flat, flat on their face on no handlebars. I seen some crazy shit. My partner Rob Pollard, that nigga, that nigga passed out one time at a pre V party, fell right on his motherfucking face, jumped back up like nothing happened. Like handlebars killed a lot of people out falling asleep and having ricks. What did it do to you? Oh, you fall asleep after thirty minutes. That's what it did. To it you. was the dumbest shit we ever did back in the day. Like you just popped them handlebars, fall right to sleep. I want to ask you about. Uh, Tay Money. What Girl. happened? Yeah, where where is she at? What's going on with Tay Money now? Uh, I seen some new music come out from her. I seen that ass. You seen that ass. You, seen that, <laughs> you, you just seen that ass. Don't sit there and talk about some music came out. You seen that picture like with us in the whole world seen that picture and you just try to disguise it. Man, you try to disguise just, it. You try to disguise it. it. You try to disguise it. Like, nah, man, I'm she just posts saying. pictures all the time. No, Which picture no. in particular you talking about? When she was in the past and see bit over with that thing, <laughs> that tattoo. The same picture I love seen. Listen, when I seen that picture, I thought she was back on too. <laughs> she, she actually, to be honest with you, she's a shoe in to go to cross over as an artist. What's what? Why I is called she her. I called her. I'm glad you said that. I called her about a month ago and told her she, she like she fell off. What did she say? She was hungry. I said, Ryan, I've been thinking the same thing. That's my girl too. I, I know you. That's your. That's that's the one. Like that's. I was the first person to meet her. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know. She always speak highly of you. So I'm just trying to figure out, like, cause she keeps she would she collab with any of the artists here, like any of the. If she did, she got some big X. But the thing is, with Tay Money is, she letting people, she letting people behind her who ain't got the vision for it, push her. You know what I'm saying? Damn, they still don't got no vision for her. What would you have done different with Tay Money if you would have been able to uh, work with her? I would have watched them. I watched people say, bro, I, I, did a, I did an interview. I had a, she was on my house with Mo3 one day. I remember that. They did an interview. I remember she talked about it. And she thought she looked so ratchet, not knowing that people had to see her come up and come up to mm-hmm. where she was at. So they put her in the game just already on top, this gorgeous Barbie white girl that rap. And everybody ever seen her grow. So after a while, it's like, okay, they just take money. You know what I'm saying? So now if you get another white girl to imitate everything that she did, she's going to be bigger than take money because nobody ever seen her grow. Nobody seen her she grow. She just came on the scene big. This beautiful white girl. Like, like she listened to some goofies. She did. She wow. took some goofy deals. I mean, like some, some goofy situations where they never seen her grow. Wow, I know you. You partners with a uh, 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 finesse two time. That's your boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. My boy Bread wanted Kane come on here. Uh, finesse said F Alabama. 
Uh-huh. And it kind of it, it kind of rubbed them the wrong way, and they start beefing about it. Do you yeah. think that was a wrong decision for Finesse to say F the whole no, whole Alabama? I seen him, too, in Houston. He just inserted himself in some shit that he ain't going to do it. What did he do? Huh? Uh, the BWA nigga. That's who we talking that, about. That's he my inserted, boy, man. He inserted his shit some shit that he ain't going to do it. He friends with, with Finesse. I mean, with uh, with uh, Honeycomb. Is he friends or he just cool? No, nah, that's his boy. I understand that, but they they Alabama. If somebody say F Texas or da- Texas, what you? I, say? I'm gonna sit back and sit there and say, shit. So yeah, Texas. Yeah, Texas gave me my heart uh, heartache. So I, I got snitched on by a stud and went to the pen in Texas. I got shot in Texas, nigga. I got shot in Texas, nigga. The uh, fuck Texas. What? Yeah. But you love Texas at the same time. No, nah, I just gotta be here. Fuck them. I right, fuck him, man. Fuck him. We, just, we need to talk about the world. So if if Brad Wynn and Kane should have sit there and said, "Is Alabama paying my bills? Is Alabama supporting my music? Because Alabama not even booking him, and, and he need to be a pioneer and stop. You can't take you can't take the sides of shit that you that you ain't got nothing to do with." Man, Alabama is his state, oh, nigga. And I agree with him. Uh, if you say F Texas, yeah. nigga, or if you talk about Pimp C, nigga, I got problems. Okay, listen, with you. listen, listen. If I catch a charge right now, it say the state of Texas versus Brandon Rainwater. Yeah, do say that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in there, Rain. Yo, don't do it like yo, that. We don't own shit out here. Fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> don't fuck, do that. Because this shit do say yeah, that. Yeah, so, so, but if that's the case, you don't own none I nowhere. Own, I don't own the earth in my turf now, so fuck them. Fuck Dallas, fuck all this shit. Nigga, just straight up. Nigga, that, nigga, nigga just straight up. Straight up, at the end of the day, he inserted himself in some shit that, and you and you surrounded by some 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 highly respected niggas now in the state of t- in, in the city of Houston, and they don't condone to it. You going against that? So at the end of the day, yeah, fuck them, man. I came back and made a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand views. I've acting like I was finesse brothers. How you went outside that, that shop? I, I was I I, left, I was there. I was there in Houston the time that he did that at the studio. So really, yeah, I was there. I was out there in Houston. Then I went to the studio the next day. Me and Sean Artist say, uh, Unique Red had an interview with him. Is Finesse still on the level he was at first, or yeah. is he declining? Now nah, get a verse from him. I, I'm two and over by getting a verse from him. He always come through for you. Yeah. Is he on the new Mo Three? Yeah, on the new Mo Three album. The, uh, he got a song got Mo Three right now. Uh, y'all go uh, do Blood Lovers. I mean, Blood uh, Blood Money's already over a million streams. Okay. I ran my money back. We spent 80000 I mean, we already ran our money back in one week. Wow. That's crazy. <clears throat> what about, um? Uh, you? I seen you in the car with uh, Big X to plug. Seemed like, now let, well, let me say this. I thought Big X, I didn't even think he fooled with you. I ain't know. I'm telling you, because everybody in Dallas be like, F Rain, we not messing with Rain. Rain ain't, I'm not rocking with that nigga. I remember when you got on that live with Half Paint let you in his live. It was... Uh, uh, what's that boy name? Got bands, Kev got bands. It was um, uh, Big X and it was uh, Terry Blue. Mm-hmm. What was it, Terry Blue? Yeah. And uh, I thought them niggas didn't rock with you like that, but then I, I look on the thing and I see you and Big X kicking it, and I was like, damn, I guess they rock. So what is the misconception about Rainwater and niggas really don't rock with him or they what? Got, they got two side by side ways. I hear Z in there, there Montana Seven Hundred, Big X, uh. Uh, four bats. Uh, you had four bats. Yeah, turn seven 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 ways. Yeah. Nobody don't get four bats. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I had a bunch of motherfuckers in there. Uh, 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 uh the J- Johnny 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 Damn D. Johnny Damn D in there. Yeah. Uh, uh, you might not have to like me, but you got you, but you got to fuck with me. Sometimes you got to run it. You got you got to pass my way. I like the X. X a solid nigga. So I gave X some money to come out there and shoot a video, right? And then. I got some chicken. That big nigga eat. That nigga eat. And then, uh, and then, uh, I got him the money. So my young niggas start shooting dice with him. So I looked at my young niggas. Them young niggas over there on Fort Lyon, and uh, they start shooting dice. So I thought I would get, I would get my money back from the dice. My guy, right? This nigga, wow. So you trying to double hustle? Yeah, I try to double hustle. You gonna back door the hustle? Yeah, get the money back too. Big X, Big X got that. He won. Took everybody money on. Oh, damn. Big X nigga hustle. Yeah, I knew that when he came in here. Yeah, that yeah. nigga hustle. I thought seeing him take everybody money. Like, nah, nah, come on, because you got to go. You got to go. <laughs> you stopped the game. Yeah, I stopped the game. You ain't finna go out there. You ain't finna do it. I like the nigga. That nigga voice different, bro. Ain't nobody <laughs> voice like that, man. The worst thing you can do, because he ain't made his potential yet, is one of these rappers make him mad. 
I seen he done he done been pissed. He was out at South by Southwest when he popped off one year. So he ain't no punk. He ain't gonna let nah, you push him over. He towed the club up. Where in? Yeah, South by Southwest. I was right there. This time, this last time? No, you're the year before. But then they came outside or something, didn't they? No, no, it's some shit that nobody heard know about. What the hell? That big nigga towed the club up. He ain't backing down. He ain't backing down for shit. It was really my fault. What you do, Rain? It was really my fault. But he told he told that bitch up. What the fuck? <laughs> Rain. <laughs> Rain, man. Boy, you better <laughs> leave these young niggas alone. Don't them them young niggas they, I think X a little younger than everybody, ain't he? Nah, he mature. He real mature. Yeah, he mature. What you think about uh what's the nigga name Hood and uh you know Rosama, my boy, so um, put like this. I'm gonna see how I can word this. Cause people okay. think I'm hating. I'm just trying to word this. When you under another rapper and giving the opportunity and the platform for free, take advantage. At every moment. Cause they around somebody who have a million people watching them a day. They going flying to this place, this place, this place. Not no label can ever do for them that early because they, they, you know what I'm saying? Take advantage, nigga. Nigga, I know some people that can get around this nigga and, and take and have the opportunity that they have will go off. So what you saying that you don't think Hood and Rose Summer going off enough? They going off. I heard them on bootleg cast. Yeah, yeah, they're, I no, see no, them. No, they no, doing their thing. No, they rapping. They do good, but they not entertaining. You can't have three chilling niggas. So they chilling too much. They chilling to you. too much. It, I've been knowing Hood since since he since since VGs and Corsa County. Bro, Summer came on here, went off on that mic, man. Yeah, no, that no, nigga can rap. No, they can, no, he can rap. See, X don't have to entertain because he's his image is entertaining. You know what I'm saying? You got this big old you got this big old nigga don't supposed to be going on stage dancing. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? He's image entertaining. Everybody else can't be the same. You can't have three running backs doing the same moves on the team, same team. You need somebody. You need a Dennis Rodman. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you need uh, a Michael Pippen. Irving. Yeah. You need you need you need a nigga like Dion to hit the high step, dance a little <laughs> bit. You know what I'm saying? You need three different personalities so you can pop it more. You can pop it more because you gonna get three different audience. Wow. Wow, I, I know you've been seeing the news. You see what's going on with Diddy, man. Uh, Diddy being drugged through the mud behind this videotape that everybody done seen him. And some people tend to be making jokes. We just talked about that the other night. You got comedians making jokes about how he was running down the hallway after he did that to Cassie. This happened in 2016. Um, but but she got 30 million, some people say. Um, what do you think about the Diddy? What is up with Diddy? Would Diddy be able to come back from this Situation or where does he end up in two years from now? Yeah. Four years from now. Uh, is Diddy still a billionaire? Hell, you can't, you can't stop being a billionaire. So he got the billions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, um, uh, they making him bigger. They making him bigger. You think he comes out bigger? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta go. You gotta go. You gotta go through the dirt to get to the top. Do you think they're being too hard on him, or you think no, they're doing him just as what they he deserves? They do every black person like that. They did Michael Jackson like that. They say he was sleeping with little boys in, in, in Wonderland. Right? Yeah, that's what they say. They did Tyson like that. When he was on top, they but said Tyson it, raped a woman. woman that came to his room at 2.30 in the morning. They did They did Tupac like that. They said he raped a woman too, right? Yeah. Every time a black person in charge, they say they freaky. You're right. Right around. You're right. Every time, Bill Cosby say he was freaky. So at the end of the day, man, nah, you can't arrest a nigga for being freaky. So, so you think that 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 what he did was permissible, except for the the assault on Cassie. But some people we don't saying, know. We don't know. Cassie probably slapped the shit out of him and ran down the hall. <laughs> well, let her go. Uh oh, that's nah, a woman perspective. Your, let her go. You ain't get your lick back, Kalisha. My partner, he Bo, got way my, more than a lick back. My partner, Bo Jenkins, girl, beat on him all the time, mm. and she ain't in jail. They fight and go fuck. Let, let, so we don't know if Cassie was into that. That was 2016. You you took all this time not to leave. Kevin Gates said it was okay to beat your bitch. That's your hoe. Right or wrong? Yeah, he said that. And and all the girls liked it. Kevin Gates would pull your head back and spit in your mouth. 
All the girls like it. Don't say all. I mean, but, <laughs> don't say all. But I'm, please. I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying the women that like hip hop, they like getting called a bitch. Sexy red, call each, call herself a bitch. Bad bitch, sexy bitch, do your dance, bitch. So at the end of the day, at the end of the day, they they fight. They have they come back. You see, you see, blue face and what you call it. They yep, fight and yep. it's entertaining. All the, all the little women want like like the fighting shit. Everybody want to be toxic. Damn. So at the end of the day, cause at the end of the day, you can't you you can't. You can't, you can't, you can't crucify this man because if that girl got beat in 2016, she could have left a long time ago. Why didn't she leave? Why did she been with, been with him for a long time? Yeah, why didn't she leave? Okay. Uh oh, Miss mm -hmm. Jamaica got something to say. Once you start talking about these women, the women come alive. No, I'm just saying, you know, they always say before you get physically abused, you get mentally abused first. And sometimes you get mentally abused to the point where they have you in captivity. They're talking about slavery. They say a lot of people right now are still well, I was, mentally. I, I was mentally in slavery too. 2000, 2007, 2007, between 2010, I was broke. I stayed with this girl and she mentally abused me and she mentally had my mind grown because I didn't have nowhere to live. Right, so you can understand why she yeah, didn't leave. Yeah, I couldn't leave no, because I, no, I didn't no, have nowhere really. to live. So that was my choice. I should have got my ass off and, 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 and left. I didn't leave. But your mind was I had right. to wash your car. I had to, I had to do this. I had to do wash shit. I, I had to do everything I didn't want to do. You didn't want to wash it. I didn't want to clean up. I didn't want to do nothing. So you tell right, me you had no cheating else. On. This you cheating on. You cheating on. They gonna do that. Look, you tell me you had nowhere else to go. I went to her phone one time and she and she had all kind of shit. I can't leave. Why you ain't yeah, had nowhere to go? I, I had nowhere to go. Where's your mama? No, no, no. Where's where your mama? I was too. I was too embarrassed to go to my mama. I, I needed her car to drive. I needed somewhere to stay. You know what I'm saying? At all. So if I would have left, it's like I, when I found out she was cheating. I was like, oh man, pissed off. Man, fuck this shit. I'm gone. And then as soon as I hit that door, I said, right, where the hell I'm gonna go? I came back 20 minutes later. You, what you do? Just came like, no, nah, I'm just gonna wait for you on my ride. You didn't really tell. Nah, that's what I said. <laughs> I said, shit, I would have been cheating too. Not knowing I ain't had nobody to cheat on her to cheat with. You know what I'm saying? So Cassie could have left. She could have, I could have left. I didn't because I needed somewhere to stay and I was looking for an opportunity. She was looking out for an opportunity to make me in the rap game. That's the problem. She was looking for opportunity. At any cost. Yeah, any cost. That same thing with R. Kelly. Every time somebody want to label somebody in, in the black culture is being freaky. We ain't that big of a freaks. But R. Kelly. He didn't leave. I mean, uh, R. Kelly. You know, R. Kelly never got charged for having sex with a minor. It, what did they charge him for? Sex trafficking. Sex trafficking. Do you know what that's sex trafficking is? Uh, you know what sex trafficking is? He with a broad to just leave and go somewhere else and come back. No, no, no. no. If you, if I fly a girl out here from Miami right now for some ass, that's sex trafficking. No matter how old she is. No, 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 no. No matter how old she's out, that's still considered sex trafficking. You're tra you're moving her around the world to have sex with her. Against her will. No, 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 no. It's gonna be with her will. I still sex trafficking. R. Kelly didn't have move nobody against their will. Them calls came over there. The calls came over there looking for record label. Yeah, and they be saying we getting flued out. Yeah, we getting that. flued we get out. Flued yeah, out yeah, that's sex trafficking. Yeah, yeah. But then they then they turn it on you when when shit go bad. Man, you, listen, I had a girl. <laughs> <I> had, <laughs> we getting flued yeah, out. I had a girl that got me drunk, and she just came back and sit there and said after a while, yeah, like uh, like. That was two years ago. She came back like a week ago. I said, "Yeah, cause you know, we, you know, we did what we did. We, I was drunk, bitch. I was drunk too." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you see what I'm saying. They so, so terrible. in the black community, the black community, they so goofy. They'll go, they'll go for whatever to crucify another black man. So we don't actually know what R. Kelly. I mean, what what these men did. We just know they was on top, and now we just found that they was freaky, and that's and, and that's the real. We don't know P. D. The gay. But now they got me listening to Biggie lyrics like, "You look so good, I suck, I suck your daddy dick," and all this shit. Like, hey, was Biggie gay? Damn. Because the way Tupac looked, the, the, the moved his hands, I think Tupac would look gay. Now, now you went too goddamn far. <laughs> you say all that other shit, but now, now you done went That's too far. That's the truth. But to, you know damn well, man, Pac with them old man. Stop playing. He might be you too young to even so, know. So, you. So, don't never you speak know, on Pac. You know P.D. had hoes. Don't speak on Pac. What's the difference? You know P.D. Don't speak on Pac. But you know you Don't know, speak on Pac. P.D. had hoes, too. I'm telling you right now. P. Don't P. speak on Pac. Pac don't got nothing to do with what you talking about. Nah, Let that go. Nah, Pac, is a, Pac was a stand-up dude, man. A real stomp down cat. Did movies. Janet Jackson, all of everybody knows his legacy. You can go back and watch the movie. I watch all the movies. Y'all see what Pac was about. 
Pac was not moving his hand in no way wrong. The ladies loved him, Patrick and all of them. You can look at it. Look it up. The, so, lady, the ladies love Pete Diddy. Yeah, did it. You know, you know the worst thing. Like I said last time, you know the worst thing in this in the world is a black culture. They don't care if you a snitch. They don't care if you pedophile. They only care if you gay. That's the worst thing you could possibly be in a black culture is gay. You could have snitched on thirty niggas. I know a bunch of snitches right now, and people don't give a damn about. It. But let me say, he put his thing in somebody's booty. It's up. It's done. It's done. So you telling me? You, I mean, you, you honestly telling me that you think that Diddy is getting a bad rap, pretty much? Yeah, they crucified my boy. So you'll still go to a Diddy party? What? I've been before. But I'm saying you'll go back. Yeah, they let me find out a Diddy party going down. I'm going. It's nothing but hoes there. It's hoes from everywhere there. It's hoes from everywhere. You think they'll but still show up? But you didn't see nobody being mistreated or none of that. Nah, stuff. ain't nobody getting mistreated. Right. Anybody, oh, anybody get mistreated? All you gotta do is say, help, help. And everybody pull out their phone and somebody needs somebody help. And somebody going on. They ain't say no help. They were screaming for more. Damn. The Diddy party, the Diddy party, the Diddy party, it's bust loads of hoes. Ain't no party like a Diddy party. Ain't no party. party like no Diddy party. Now I went to one in 2000, my first time at the. Who invited you? At the uh, Grammys. Who invited you? Uh, nobody invited me. Uh, what? Let me tell you what happened. <laughs> let me see what happened. So I'm at the Grammys and I'm just talking to the different girls. Cause you got pretty, a lot of pretty girls just walking around at the parties and shit like that. I'm at the Grammys, so she said they finna go to the Diddy parties. I lie and say, nigga, my phone dead. Well, send me the address. <laughs> Put it to, send it to my Instagram. I got right in the mix. Went, went, got to the gate. Got to the gate. The uh, guard asked you who this and that. And that. I act like I supposed to be there. I'm back. I'm back. How y'all doing? Y'all doing? Y'all good? I'm back. I'm back. Tell them I'm here. You gotta act like you supposed to be there. And they let you in in the mix, and you ain't going to one of them rooms. I didn't stay for long because I, 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 I ain't stay for long. He didn't know that was his first yeah, time. Yeah, my first time. Yeah, there. I ain't know what was going on, but I ain't stay for long because you could tell I wasn't supposed to be there. Why? Then my pants all the way to my thighs. You know, I got the chains on. Uh, you know, no, back, back in the day. I'm, yeah, I'm back. I'm back now. Back in the day. Now, 2021. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you dressed like that in 2021? Uh, no, I mean, I was saying a little bit. You know, I was. You could tell that I wasn't supposed to be there because it ain't no. It ain't no. It ain't no middle class. It ain't. It ain't no niggas in there got five hundred thousand to a million. I was in that tag break, five hundred thousand to a million. Them niggas in there multi millionaires. Mm -hmm. They dress a little different. Multi millionaires dress a little different, talk a little different. You know what I'm saying? They talk like they got some shit. So it wasn't no was boost. Jay, Jay wasn't there, was it? It wasn't no boosty party now. Nah. It wasn't no boosty party. It was a it was a Diddy party. You know what Who what did saying? you see there that you were surprised to see there? The biggest the biggest person that you saw Bow there. Bow Wow was there. Uh Bow Wow was there. It was a couple of models, Instagram girls. Uh, Sean Kingston. Mm -hmm. uh, they just locked you, him you up. You heard about what happened with Sean Kingston? They just locked him up. Yeah, yeah. Him uh, and his mama. Damn. Locked his mama up too. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So it was some people like that, but. Uh, For fraud. Fraud? Yeah. He got him. For jugging. Yeah, 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 yeah. See? He was jugging. No, nah. well, he ain't been doing a lot, so he jugging now. Yeah. See, Sean artists, Kingston. artists can go broke at any time. Cause they have to keep up so yeah, much. Yeah, keep up with so much. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Keep up with appearance. Yeah, keep up appearances. And then we go. We go. I was on behind them doors at them. A uh, uh, one night at them behind them hotel doors, uh, can, can 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 go to from twenty five hundred dollars. Do you think Sean Kingston went broke and he started jugging? That's what I'm saying. I'm telling you right I'm now. I'm asking. Do you think he probably no, went listen, broke? He went jugging. He jugging. Listen, a night behind them. You got to think about it, a night behind them hotel doors. Twenty five hundred to, to fifteen hundred two thousand dollars. You gotta do that every night. You gotta do that every night, nigga. Nigga, young boy got more money than all them niggas. He was he he was trying. He was he was disguised himself get um um uh, prescription pills. Yeah, they talking down on him now, but that's a, his his case is kind of sad. Yeah, because academics. Academia, yeah, he just yeah. come out and talked about that. His case kind of sad because they were locked up. Academics said they did him wrong. Say he couldn't mm -hmm. be out in society. Now they got him locked up. I mean, he had a lot of he, isolation. But that music, do you think the music and what they say in this music? Because you always talk about the man, he pain fucked, music. He he fucked the world up. That nigga had a run, didn't he, man? Man, he got people. He got them kids want to kill each other. They don't give a fuck, neither. NBA young boy did all that. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got yeah. He, his his music. His music. How does he have people? He's not. Telling people to go do that. music mesmerized. Yeah, his his music influenced more deaths than any. Maybe more than Chief Keith. You think his music 
Chief Keith is Keith is the king of drill music. He started it. Yeah, but nah, baby, young boy, young boy crowd, but young boy, young boy people are killers. They kill us. I'm scared of young boy. They, they kill us. Young, young, young boy crowd kill us. Do you think he gone this time? He gonna get some prison time for this? You can't lock up a star like that. So he getting out. Yeah, you gonna have to get him out. You, you, what facility you gonna put a star like that? He, they got a nigga bigger than Tookie Williams. Mm. Nigga, you out your mind? You know Tookie Williams. Is? Young boy is bigger than Tookie Williams. Man, why do? Please. Why would you feel that way? Because Tookie Williams, Tookie Williams started the Crips. I know yeah, who yeah, Tookie Williams Tookie, is, but I'm asking him Tookie, why he feel that Tookie way. Tookie Williams started a gang. That's everywhere around the world, right? All over the world, right? Hold on, hold on, like in other countries. So he on the pick. He around the world. He and he got half, right? He didn't get a hundred percent of the game. He got half the game, right? Mm -hmm. Then you got. Then you got uh, Young boy He ain't got half He got Bloods and Crips Behind this movement well, I'm telling you right now man When you think about NBA Young boy And the movement he had It was cool But it wasn't like yes. It wasn't like Tookie man. Took it something different And then he died Behind that whole situation Listen, man. Young boy got the whole world He got white boys on some 4K Trey shit. You don't think Tookie had no white boys crib in his cribs? Is but he got, isn't but it white cribs? They was going against the bloods. You got to think about it. Young boy got the whole 100%. Man, you know, you lost me a long time ago when you tried to say that uh, Young boy was bigger than Tupac, Tupac. and young all that kind of shit. Young boy you you say a lot of stuff young that boy, really I don't I get agreeing with. And, that and, shit don't I, work. And, and listen, I, and they looked it up. Young boy got more. Man, I don't give a damn what they look. He is not no young bigger boy than got no more Tupac. Gold plats, <laughs> more, young boy got more gold plats, more platinum albums than Tupac. More number one hits in the world than Tupac. No, young boy numbers is way bigger. And that they nigga is not hello, bigger than hello, Tupac, hello, play, right? Put like this. Everybody in the world knew listen, Tupac, listen, man. Okay, everybody in the world knows young boy. They don't know no young boy listen, like that. Listen, young boy not even reached the reached the age of where Tupac was at. Look at look at look at up, Mr. Jamaica. See who got more who 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 got more who got more um a comp what, the better company Tupac. No, nah, man, that was a different that was that was that was C D S. That was Albums, yeah, projects, different. you streaming this stuff. It's a different world, you man. You mean to tell me just because it ain't the same? Just mean to tell me because it was just another era that we gotta be crucified because it was another era? It ain't the same. They don't. The that? numbers don't fit like that. So put, put like this. I ain't say everybody because it's a streaming world and 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 niggas like and niggas like Sean Kingston ain't bigger than Boost. I mean, bigger than Tupac. He, he was in the stream era. That don't matter. You can't get no excuse. Young boy's bigger. Young boy's not bigger than Tupac. Yes, he is. No way in hell. Man. And and to be real with you, if, if young boy, young boy ain't about to say that. He not for to say that. Man, listen. People not for to say that. That's so, something so you let me ask, came let me, up let me ask you a question. This new generation is more realer than the old generation. What the hell are you? Are you out your mind? Tupac. How? Tupac wasn't no gangster, man. Man, you crazy. Shit, that man shot a, a couple off duty uh, cops behind but, harassment. But, but, Tupac could pull up and try to help anybody when they were going through. You don't see these young niggas doing nothing. It was a tougher time back then, too. These niggas was going through some shit, man. It was riots and all kind of shit that boy was going through. It was tougher. Now it's a little bit Why easier. Why you say it was tougher? It was tougher because the times was man, different. Man, no. This the time, times this time, were different. This time is worse. Man, they let niggas make it but now. No, no, no. This time Instagram got niggas everywhere Let me tell you why. It. Let me tell you why this time worse. You can't get, you can't take no, you can't take no, uh, I grew up, I grew up, I won some fights, I got my ass whooped too, right? If you have a fight at school and you and you actually get your ass beat up, it is broadcast around the world. Okay. Hold up, if, if a young girl got a disease, it is broadcast around the world. Okay. Right? This is a time, if if, if, if somebody said something about somebody getting ass whooped back in the day and you wasn't there to see it, Right, you gotta hear stories about it, and them stories can be. I remember one one time I lost, but I had everybody thinking I won. You hear me? My partners was lying for me. You hear me? Nowadays it's on camera. You understand what I'm saying? A girl could be a freak without nobody knowing because nowadays a nigga pull out their phone. You understand what I'm saying? So nowadays it's worse than it ever been in life. So at the end of the day, the times now is worse. That, that's why I told. That's why I told y'all back in the day. I kept on telling people, Arlington is the worst city. Right. Uh, um, um, and 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 DFW, the number one school shootings is in Arlington right now. The last two or three years, somebody died every time a nigga pulled the trigger at a school in Arlington. Nigga, a nigga was laid on the floor lad two weeks ago, and called another guy 
at the class, he came around the cone, he shot him five times from the ground. Bah, bah, bah. You don't hear nothing about that. This, this, this these times is worse. What they had last back in the day ain't worse. The only thing you had to do was try to watch out for Ace. No, no, nigga was killing back in the day the same way. Yeah, but they were not. He was killing back in the day. Not like the same this. Way. Go look at yeah, the go look killing. at the reports. It was killing. Man, we got. I remember the trench coat. Them trench coach kids were killing everybody, bro. Yeah. David Caress, you had crazy times just like now. Yeah, it ain't nothing new under the sun, but, right? But you got switches now. You had oozes in. Oozes, man. Not. Them oozes, they might jam, but them hoes are yeah, killing yeah, you, but, nigga. But you can't compare it to no switch. It's the same. But I, got, bro, if, I, if somebody come through here with an oozes or a switch right now, we dead in a motherfucker. Spain, this Spain, they say Spain hopped out them bushes with a switch and shot a nigga nine times. With a switch. Bro, you said something about Spain. <laughs> Why do you keep doing this by Spain? Niggas is mad at you about that Why? shit. Because they say you were just capping. You were trying to do something to promote that damn video. Yeah, why you mad in front of that building? Trill talk, no talk, talk, say you huh? can't, Trill talk, no pill talk, say you jumping out the window trying to promote stuff and doing anything on the internet. He uh -huh. said he was in front of a Fed building trying to... Yeah. Uh, actually, let me tell you why I was in the Fed. It was a good time to just mention why I was, in, why I was at the Fed building. I was in the Fed building. You were snitching about no, something? No, no, no. I went in there and paid the Dallas police officers um, and had a meeting with Dallas police officers on Mo 3 Day. Uh, they they were gonna block out the whole forest lane and have a big, big block party. Why you come out talking about Spain? Right. Shot that dude because this is what I did. I put, I put a negative situation, not knowing Spain, grandma and family own Spain chicken and Rudy chicken. They do, and right. they're donating. They're donating two thousand chick, two thousand chickens on Friday on more three day and letting them do a whole block party and chicken for free. So I put out a bad narrative and watched how the bad narrative was spread. Then come Monday, I'm gonna say since, since Spain shot the boy, and we know he was wrong. Spain is donating a thousand chicken from Rudy's to Big Mama Chicken because that's two chicken spots to. Um, that's down for the community that we and black chicken spots that we need to support with all our hearts. So at the end of the day, I'm finna show people that the the negative posts go do more than the positive posts. Because niggas only want to care about negative shit. That's why I'm going to the Mexicans. <laughs> Man, listen, you ain't I, I, you you know what you you. So you telling me that if you post something positive, positive Hispanic people are gonna still jump on it. Compared to if you post something no, negative. No, 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 no. If you post something positive about their race, mm -hmm. they're going to jump up and love it. But let me post something negative about their race. They go, I'll be against it. But black folks ain't black doing folks that. With, black folk people with it. But, but Mexicans, still, Mexicans still support SPM. They say he was fucking, he was trying to fuck Mexican kids. What? Yeah. He in jail for smoking fucking minors. And they say, still say free Mis uh, SPM. But let a black person do it. He ain't, they ain't got to know for a fact he did it. They could be like Diddy. We heard, but we ain't charged him with nothing. Man, fuck Diddy. No Diddy. They got a song called No Diddy's. Who did that? Everybody. So at the end of the day, I know the race that I need to go to. Man, I ain't fucking with these niggas no more. Okay. I got to ask you a question. I need a, I need a bad, I need a bad Spanish rapper, y'all, and I need a Jamaican rap, a Jamaican dude. I just, I, I just, I just found a dude yesterday from uh, 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 the Virgin Island. Okay. A bad motherfucker. But I never knew the difference from Virgin Island and Jamaicans and Africans. Yeah, they all different. I, I ain't know that. They all different. I, I, I got to pull you out of this. I got to ask you this question. You got to give it up to uh, No Jumper fired everybody. Yeah. They say he fired everybody. Now, I'm hearing it's still Brick Baby State. It was a few of them state. I know you went on that show. So I want to, I just want to ask you, like, uh, I should call Adam right now and say, nigga, why you fire everybody? He fired everybody, but he, he's a white guy. Yeah. He's got predominantly black cast. Uh, uh, what what do you think about him firing everybody? He will, uh, he should he should have fired everybody. They were losing money. They were losing money. Them, 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 them niggas weren't getting no views. They weren't getting no views. Nah, and they were wasting, they were wasting time. They were just on there. They were wasting time. They weren't. They won. Yeah, he gave all of them. What niggas. you mean they wasn't getting no view? Wack one hundred was on there. No, no, no. no I'm saying the Wack, Wack was, but he, he don't, we don't know how much you were paying Wack. Did he fire Wack too? I could. Yeah, yeah, he probably had. Wack a bully. He had to get rid of Wack one hundred. Yeah, Wack a bully. You get with, with, Wack will try to take over that show. Um, um. But yeah, he should. Uh, uh. But all the rest of them niggas should go. He he just had niggas. He just had niggas hired for no reason. Well, you know, that it's one dude, I think, yeah. what is his name? It's one of them that's really beefing with Al. It, 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 the, the little, it, 
P something. He, he ain't beefing, man. You can't beef with that man. That man got you a chance. Man, Adam, he really beef with listen, Adam. Listen, listen. Now, if, if Adam would have did this, if Adam would have hired. Uh, there he is. Yeah, somebody. yeah. There he is. Uh, if, if Adam would have hired me, F Y B G man, um, King Yellow. Us folks would have made them some some good money. Them niggas there was they were just nobody. DW Flame is the nigga that's really giving Adam the blues right now. They going back and forth. They into it hard right now. Yeah, yeah. DW Flame is not trying to hear it. He feel like he was what he was doing was he came in, but he started he started he was charging niggas and 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 no jumper didn't know it. Adam twenty two, you know, they come in, he charge them and let them get on the show. Then he charge them five thousand. He say he was hustling out of the hustle anyway, nigga. Yeah, they, I could tell he was a hustler. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know who he was. I, I seen him down there too. Yeah, he said he was hustling. Yeah, big old swallow nigga. He said he every time he do an interview, he charge every nigga that came through the door. Yeah, but but no jumper didn't know it. Yeah, because I was wondering he had a bunch of niggas on there nobody knew about. He said <laughs> Adam twenty two ain't know what he say. Yeah, he had a whole bunch of niggas. So on So he there. out bragging about it now, like nigga, I used to have niggas anyway, nigga. You ain't stopping my shine. Yeah, 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 yeah. He uh. Now he ain't gonna get hired for nobody because nobody gonna trust him. He gonna st he should start his own show Man, now. Listen, Adam gave them niggas an opportunity. So you you agree with Adam? Yeah, Adam's a good nigga. Adam gave niggas an opportunity. Do you think it's right that Adam 22, Vlad, Bootleg Head, all these people that's white is predominantly running the culture when it comes down to news and media, that they get more views than everybody? They running every black person running to them shows. Uh, get, they pretty much now They doing good But they ain't fucking with Say Cheese Say Cheese the number one blogger in the world I heard Adam say something I don't know what yeah. it was I heard it Not Adam but I heard it It may have been Vlad Or somebody said Somebody say Cheese numbers Oh uh, yeah Sean Sean Sean, Sean wrote, uh, run the youth Nigga Sean got me Taking pictures with niggas Everywhere I go to Sean Sean run the youth Sean got the power To break them all Them niggas ain't Break no artists I'm glad Sean yeah, got to they, you they Because got, I love Sean And, and Adam, Sean comes show Love the boss no, no, no 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 Listen Come on, we gotta be we gotta be real. Black still running. If a nigga here he finna go to boss talk, he going for free. If a nigga here Vlad or Adam want him on their show, they charging the white boys. Boosie run up good numbers of, of, of Vlad. Vlad pay good money. Adam pay good money. You know what I'm saying? Niggas ain't paying shit, so that so them niggas paying to get to the top. They are panicking to the top. They're out thinking the black culture. Because if a nigga if a nigga won't get on about if if a nigga tell me right now right now and I don't have no and, and, and I don't have no money in my pocket, um, Breakfast Club wants you tomorrow. Man, how I supposed to get out there? Nigga, I pay me. Man, tell him pay me something. He lose. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Or they not paying me neither. But let Adam need me on there. He gonna pay me. So you saying the white boys be paying them? The white boy they... pay the niggas to to, to destroy their lives, because the niggas ain't smart. And the niggas ain't so the niggas who own the black thing is not paying nobody. Now oh, you kind of got a point because I'm not paying nobody. Nigga, ain't no niggas going. Ain't no niggas going to boost the house. All on all all on all on his uh his his plantation. Boost is showing all kind of shit that I ain't know he got. Not been to his house, right? Boosie showing them all kind of shit because he paid Boosie. Now that's somebody black come up. He ain't paying Boosie. He's not paying Boosie at all. So we talking about the white boys because the white boys got good business. No, the black boys do too. Yeah, I'm, 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 I got good business, nigga. Yeah, I understand. You ain't paying shit. Oh, you, you, you'll pay one time. That's it. I'm yeah, not yeah, going to yeah. pay one yeah, time yeah, and yeah, after yeah. that it's over. It's over, yes. Yeah. So, uh, black, black will keep paying. <laughs> black, every time. Huh? Vlad pay every time. Every time. Every time. So at the end of the day, he doing shit that black people ain't gonna do. Black people ain't got the the the, the brains to sit there and say this is business, not personal. You know what I'm saying? So, a Adam paid every Chicago nigga to come up there and tell all their deepest secrets. So do you think that he he ends up? Uh, uh, at, now is he going to read Because I don't think Flacco going nowhere uh, Fl Por nah, Flacco He not going nowhere no. And then listen uh, Brick Baby not going nowhere So he going to restructure Do yeah, you think yeah, he restructure Yeah that's good cause, And then every nigga Every nigga heard 
every black person heard about how many people he laid off, and every black person get that phone call that Adam wants you on there, and they go still go. Adam got good business. Adam buy a private airport, but uh, and, and, and you ain't got to worry about going to LAX. He puts you in nice hotel rooms. Wow. You walk in, it's cool. It's cool. The air is great. Wow. They got water. Ooh. They got weed. They got they got all kind of shit going on. Like and they, and, they, and, they, and they got a bunch of they got a bunch of people that work there. Adam got a good assistant that you can call in the middle of the night, and she, and she make it seem like it's personal. Like I can call her right now. She's like, hey, Rain. Like she's making it feel like a person, so it's a good it's a good atmosphere where everybody greets you with warm, all open. Are hands. you telling me we don't greet you with warm, open hands over here, nigga? Nah, nigga, because when, mm -hmm. nah, when I walk up, I go get gas station, got a rag, <laughs> got a rag, my motherfucker asked me for get some money to a damn football you team. You should have gave it to him, nigga. Football in August. What y'all taking my money for right now? <laughs> ah, this nigga's doing. Hey, I, <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a different type of breed out there. You got the palm trees. You got good weed. You got you. Adam might have some hoes running around. They only fan girls. So you think it's okay for him to have all these niggas banging and ganging and uh, up there trying to get in his shop? I've been here a lot of time. Niggas not gonna keep going over there Bro, like he, that. He gave them. He gave them a job. And they got Hellcat a job. Hellcat, Big D, hey, yeah, R.I.P. to Big yeah. D. That's who really no, motivated uh, yeah. Hellcat to we, do that. Yeah, and we got up, and, 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 we, and she, she, she was known. He fired her, didn't he? No, she was known, yeah, she was known for me saying I don't like studs on your platform. Damn. I said on your platform, ain't no stud can make it, and make it, and she went on there and said, and, talk, and, and me and her went back and forth on the internet, then Big D got her, then she, then she got a job on, uh, on, uh, no jumper. No jumper. That's a powerful white boy. I like him. Wow. That nigga gave her opportunity. A girl from Arkansas gave her opportunity. But he it, fired her though. I understand it because because sometimes. But not it, only her, he fired a lot of people. Yeah, but they, but now on their resume they worked for no jumper. Right. I use that for the rest of my life. Exactly. That's bigger. That's bigger than me managing a rapper named Mo Three. No, nah, that ain't bigger yes, than that. Yes, it is. I work for No Jumper. Every the average white person don't know who No Mo Three is. Oh, the so average, you crossing over? Average, I see what you say. The average fucking teenager don't know who Mo Three is right to this day. But let them say that and show a picture next to Adams that I work for No Jumper. They know who that is. I'm in every pocket and I can store my own. Pocket. He gave them people opportunity. What are we crying about? What are we bashing them about? That's a good white white boy with heart. I mean, and he ain't scared to lie. He don't lie about <laughs> shit. Like straight up, so I fuck with him. I fuck with him. I, I fuck with him. I fuck with him. Now, I, nigga, just straight up, nigga, let him get the let him tell me Ryan, you hire. You gonna go work with him, nigga? What? Nigga, gonna see me a picture? You got now have a picture in that hoe. And I, and, nigga, what and, thing about this dude? And, man? And I, and, and, Rain loves to do both things. He'll he'll deal with the controversy, but then he'll go and be very truthful and sincere just like when he was talking about his mom and everybody you, do they you be that. reading the that comments went on that crazy. Yeah. that shit went crazy now he be answering back I didn't see him answer back because them comments I saw my answer, answer, answer back to make the comments go up you damn sure that something that about that them comments that go 90% of them comments is women yeah I know Ooh, they, and they it's, love and it. hold on yeah, there, and boy, the part they, that I be surprised about I see a lot of white women in them comments too yeah I love them I love him. I'm trying to bring him in. Listen, uh, my my first girlfriend, the one I was telling about that she was she was abusing me and shit like that. Uh, her mom was on the comments. Really? Yeah, I said Rain. That's my, my that's my boy. Hell no, nah. hell no. Nah. You, you motherfucker was telling her to leave me. Oh, baby. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Then she gonna tell me right that that's my boy. I ain't your boy. You motherfucker. You motherfucker was, was against me and everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So now, nah, yeah, but that's true for though. That's true. Sometimes people, the truth hurt. You know what I'm saying? When you hit that, that they, they love that. I got to ask you about uh, Cameron. He went on CNN with that woman, asked him a question about, uh, <laughs> the woman really was just, she was kept asking about Diddy. And and he, Cameron yeah. got offended about that. He didn't like that. He said, look, and he started promoing his stuff on CNN, but he told the woman, don't be asking me about Diddy. Oh, I, I wasn't with Diddy. Mace was with Diddy. You have to, y'all check out my show. He's like, who booked who book me for this interview? Because. Yeah, he was going off about it. Yeah. Do you agree with that? Or you feel like he shouldn't have done that? Yeah, the world trying to turn this black man down. We can't do that. Yeah, he said he don't know nothing about him like that. They do everybody like that. You know, OJ died and we ain't nobody know about he died. But why did he take the interview if he he know they gonna ask him about Diddy? Oh, that was a smart black man to get up there and promote himself. So that's all he had intention on doing. I, I mean, I pray to God they called me and asked me some CNN? questions. About, they called me and asked me some questions about Diddy. What you promoing? I'm gonna have a shirt on Mo3 album coming out May 31st. <laughs> <laughs> 
And then I'm gonna talk about everything. I'm you, everything, I'm, everybody, everything. Listen, listen. You talking about D, uh, D W Flame? I I charge niggas five hundred dollars to go on the show and shout out their name. That's where he got it from. <laughs> <laughs> Every nigga I shout out their name, I told them $500. Damn. Yeah, 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 it's $500 for me to shout your name. I shout out to both Jangles. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all say his name twice. Nigga, you, you, you owe me a thousand. thousand. Yeah. Oh, damn. Yeah. Man, yeah. What, what's up with the. I, I want to know where these, where the female of music at in Dallas, man. I want, man, they fucked off. This all them hoes washed up. All of them. We don't have no woman. Name is uh, Cuban dog gone. Um, she beautiful too. That's you posted thing. some female rapper. He got and a she female. Was black. Yeah, she was on black. your page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She from Fort Worth. You said yeah, she so was good. Yeah. So what's up with her then? That's gutter artist. I like her too. That's a shit fool. What's uh, her name again? Mm -hmm. I ain't thinking that. Gutter owed me five hundred. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, but yeah, she uh, yeah, my my artist uh, Unique Red uh, I'm gonna just be real with y'all. Let's talk about it. Me and Sean. Me and Sean. Uh, got in with her. Sean brought Ralph from Miami, a lady named Ralph from Miami to help us with her. And then I brought in Big Homie P and Tevin, uh, the producer that she been fucking with. She was already fucking with Tevin, so I brought in Big Homie P. So I had a massive team behind her, right? And she was moving so fast, like, so fast. Got on tour with Fredo Baines, got on tour with Money Bag, yo. I mean, Money Man, right? And let me tell you, I was hard on her. Like, when we, we flew to Chicago, and um, I flew Frontier, and uh, it was the most bumpiest ride. Get to get to get there. Uh, I ain't get no hotel because we was late. And then after the show, she did a, show, a song with young uh, Lil Durk artist, oh. and I still didn't get no hotel because uh, we went to the after the show. We went to the studio at one o'clock a.m. Stayed there till four a.m. Caught a caught a, the earliest flight five a.m. flight back to Dallas so we I could be with my kids. So you know. Uh, uh, I just didn't get in the hotel. Me and Mo three never got hotels, right? Damn. And I was hard on she was she was mad about that situation. But then me and Sean dumped all this money. Sean had on every blog site. You know what I'm saying? Did a song with South Walker video, did one with Mud Baby, had one coming with D Baby. Like she was gonna be the next star. What happened? The motherfucker got pregnant. What? Damn. Y'all gotta wait nine months. Now it's over. You can't get pregnant? The rap game don't have time to you wait. Don't have time to wait. They don't have time. Only reason. So she can't be a pregnant hit. Uh, only reason. I mean, I mean, I mean, you can, but at the end of the day, if if you already like like even right now, she not posting no pictures. She not posting no freestyles in the car. She don't have. She should have been doing she, all she, of that yeah, stuff yeah, yeah. while she pregnant. She, she don't have enough knowing it's a business, and people are investing good money into you and time of you to really want it. Like right now, that's why I know every artist I ever fuck with, after they stop fucking with me, I sit back and look at their page and say, I ain't got nothing to worry about because y'all don't even put out no content or nothing. I don't have nothing to worry about. They ain't gonna never come. They ain't gonna never come back because it's it was it was it was my dream and everybody around for you to be a superstar. This rap game, listen, I'm gonna just be real with y'all. A person got a better chance of being successful with a job, with somebody telling them what to do every day. Then you have to get up it make your own schedules. Ain't no niggas with the with a ain't no niggas who got the mind frame to make their own schedule schedule to be successful. I don't have it. You know what I'm saying? I might go to Miami for a bidding trip, see some hoes, and forget what I came down here for. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I don't have it. So at the end of the day, nobody got the same that the, they got the mind frame to become a millionaire. Because if it was that easy in the rap game, everybody would be millionaires. Rap is hard. I don't know if think other people, other people understand then that. Then why everybody want to do it? Because they think it's the easiest thing to do. When you had a better chance of going to college, get on a schedule, getting a book in front of you telling you exactly how to do the shit, and study that book, take a test, and get a job and make $100,000 a year. That's more easy to become a rapper because in rapper is no book. It's no guidelines to it. Being a rapper is hard. I don't want nobody, I don't want you to understand it. You might, I might call you on Thursday night and say, be ready, six o'clock in the morning, we gotta catch a flight. You ain't got no time to go get no babysitter. You ain't got no time to get no outfit. You ain't got no time to say, say, say you're on your period. You ain't got no time to do nothing. You gotta jump up, do that, and go back. That is hard. So when niggas come around me, and it's like, I wanna be a rapper. Now I'm sitting back saying, and you really wanna be a rapper? I go look at their page. 
Nigga, you only post it once every two months. That sound like me, don't it? Nigga, what the fuck you gonna do? You not gonna be no rapper. You ain't even be no rapper. Man, I lost a lot of money. Man, I'm done with the city. I'm done with the city with niggas. With nigga rappers, I'm done with it. No like, more, you're not gonna try to help him no more. He want them Hispanic rappers now. Man, them niggas hungry. I want to ask you about Nicki Minaj. She got arrested in Amsterdam for uh, messing with. Uh, they they caught her with some drugs. She said that she it wasn't hers. Did they catch her yeah. with something? Yeah, they said she they did. She posted some talking to that they, guy. Yeah, but they, they, they were she searching get in this her bag. Get in this truck. That's what they told them. The police about eight or nine of them around. I didn't saying, see get that in this part. truck. They arrested her in Amsterdam. <laughs> you know what? Look, I don't know. She over there with that dope or what? What she think? Yeah, she got it from West Dallas. What? <laughs> Listen, because you forgot Nicki had just left. Three days before that. She had a show at the American Airlines Center. She got that shit from West Dallas. It was longer than three days. About a week. She stayed, yeah. But she stayed out here a long time about knew. Oh, she's, she was oh, at the okay. W Hotel. She, uh, she How got, you know that? She took that dope all the way to West, all the way to Amsterdam? Yeah. And she, she flew from here. In them bags? Yeah. How you know that? Bo Jenkins told me at three times. <laughs> <laughs> Bo Jenkins told me. She yeah. flew from here? Yeah. Now she over there, and they got. What do you think they gonna do to her? Man, they can't lock her. You nah, can't, they ain't you can't lock no superstar up. You can't. Nah, I don't know about that. They locked up. Who was that? They ain't one they superstar. Locked, they locked up. Man, they locked up. What's the name over Ooh. there? Uh, uh, Brittany Griner. Yeah, they got her. And they just cut her hair and made her come back. What's the other one they they locked up too? Though? But, but she was there for a while when she was locked Six up. Six months. <laughs> That's still a long time. They ain't no damn long. Six months. So you think Nicki Minaj would be all right? Yes, she be all right. Yeah, they got too much. Man, you can't lock up no superstar. Ain't no facility can hold a superstar. Boy, think about a young boy in prison. That nigga had them young niggas going crack. I mean, young boy got a superstar got enough power to turn every nigga in his against the guards. So they don't want him in there. Hey, so know. you think Nicki Minaj coming home? Yeah, she coming home. So they, they got her. She said, I'm not getting in this truck. Yeah. Why am I? She was trying to talk him out of putting in that truck. Mm. She had it live. She kept that camera going the whole time. Yeah. And the end, you got to understand, that might be a publicity. You think that? Man, niggas, man. Anything nowadays. Them white be. people know how to, uh, them, um, them white people, them people in them labels know how to make you go viral. You don't ever nothing. know. So they, they, oh, you think this might be an insight? Yeah, then she going to get out. And then everything good. Now she, now, now she going to be bigger than it, it, she gonna be bigger than any rap girl. She gonna be big, big bigger than Sexy Red. Yeah, Sexy Red. How you think Megan Tory going? You know, Megan been touring. Megan touring. I ain't even know it. I need. Yeah, Megan. Megan ain't been shit since they Tory Lane shit. Man, you crazy. She been going crazy. Man, she ain't fucking with Sexy Red. And she ain't, she ain't fucking with Sexy Red. Sexy Red. And she doing some because I know she Gloria Gloria and um, Cardi B just collabed and did a mix. Oh yeah, so that's oh, oh Megan. Yeah, Megan got team up. She, they had to click mm -hmm. up. She got to click up with everybody else. That's a form of I got to go back backwards because I lost my foundation. No, she got off the label, man. No, I she, she became independent. You, and you know, she, you know what would make would have made her keep on being a superstar? She is. She's still a superstar. Nah, being in Houston. She's still a superstar, every, man. They understand that, and everybody in Houston still love. No, she's still, she's still a superstar. But every rapper, listen, 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 listen. Y'all understand the power of Houston. I, I know it now. Every rapper in the gang of Houston. Houston's a new Atlanta. Houston is bigger than any city right now when it come down to hip hop. Every rapper go down to Houston. You don't. You we could do whatever you want and never lose your your. You could never lose your um, stardom. Or your power being in Houston. We got something going on this weekend to come together. Yeah. What is that called? Together, together, fest. together, together, yeah, together fest going on now. Yeah, we run, we killing. It. I understand that, but it's a different though power that you got in Houston. Is that the biggest concert that ever happened in Dallas? Nah, you got, nah, you, nah, you got Quanza Fest. You got, you got a lot of big shit. It's the same shit. It's the, uh, school. a lot of people yeah. here, ain't it? Yeah, but, but listen, Houston power. Megan was being on top. She don't be in Houston like that. So you feel that's the reason why. Man, yes. Junior took a rapper from another city, Memphis, moved him, put that Houston stamp behind him. And there's two And times. they can say anything about him and they still won't fuck him up. Junior number's powerful. Man, listen, 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 listen. Listen, let me tell you how powerful this motherfucker is. Houston powerful. The world, one of the world's biggest artists died in Houston. Uh, and Atlanta niggas still go to Houston to perform and be around Junior. Straight up, Houston is powerful. Houston is powerful. They say, they say C. Murder slapped the shit out of PMC. 
No, no, now we're finna get pissed off. That was Master, <laughs> they say Master P. Uh, uh, I, I did it, but but uh, but uh, it's a lot. It's a lot, man. You, you know, I'm not finna go there with you. Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? You know, but Houston, but you power. keep saying Houston, but then when you say in Houston, the people that you, you keep mentioning is is Junior and stuff like that. Is it Houston is powerful or is it rap a lot? No, it's powerful. just Houston. Period. It's the culture of Houston. Like you got like, but I'm saying when you when you cool with that with the, with that with Junior, them, it's like it's 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 cool. Like your image is protected. You don't you could know what I'm saying like like it is. Wow. Well, you ain't seen nobody, nigga, nigga it, it, you ain't seen nobody take L's from there. Wow. I, I def, y'all get ready to come ahead, y'all to ask. I need a couple of questions from both of y'all from Rain here in a minute, uh, one at a time. But at any rate, I want to uh, also ask you about Boosie. I want to go back to Boosie because Boosie, Lavelle Crawford came on Shannon Sharp. He said that he basically was at the airport and he asked, he asked Boosie for a picture. And he say he tried to get a picture with him. He said, all right, I'm going to do it, but I got to go to the restroom. Boosie went to the restroom. Then when Boosie came back out the restroom, he tried to, he said, he's like, dang, he passed him right by and went sit down. And he said, Boosie went over there and he said, he went over to Boosie and he said, uh, hey man, you going to take it for his kids? He was doing it for his kids because he said he, he, it was just for his kids. He said, Boosie got on the phone and said, man, this whole ass nigga was trying to take a picture. He didn't know it was Lavelle Carl. He don't know who he is. But it's Lavelle Crawford. The comedian who be could have went there, you know, and now, now he, he brought it out on Shannon Sharp show. Uh, what do you do? You think Boosie just didn't know him, or do you think Boosie just didn't want to take the picture? Boosie take a thousand pictures a day, and sometimes, yeah, and I mean, you might be arguing with your baby mama. You might be dealing with the feds. He, you got boosted. But this Lavelle Crawford, nigga. I don't understand. Give a damn who it is. You, nigga, you got you got to be arguing with your baby mom. You got your daughter going online talking this shit. You got your lawyer on the on the phone saying you might finna go to jail. And you're like, damn. Sometimes when you're a superstar, you got to smile when you don't want to take them and, and stop and take pictures. Got to do all it. You don't understand how I feel. I might be with my child at the middle of a gas station arguing on the phone or somebody just died. And people want you to stop and do what they want you to do. So you telling me, do you know who LaBelle Crawford is? I don't know who the hell he is. See, you all young niggas. I can't stand these young niggas, man. La- LaBelle Crawford is a huge comedian, man. I understand. And he used to be who? fat, but he lost weight. Yeah, so you can't, b- Boosie know who that, who no. that little nigga is, nigga. Ain't nobody tell him to lose weight and change his identity, nigga. You should have you kept your weight so Boosie know who you is. He just say, hey, b- hey Boosie, I'm LaBelle Crawford. And because if, 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 if it's good and, and, and you somebody, Boosie would say, all right, hold on. But Boosie might be Boosie deal with a lot of shit. I've been I've been on the phone with him for hours, and he explained to me that all the shit he go through, and I can't even get mad at him. So you think you don't? So you feel like he just was caught him at the wrong time? Caught him at the wrong. If he on that phone, man, you don't understand the phone calls you get. Somebody might die. Somebody nigga he got diabetes. You know, might went to that bathroom just then their sugar might been low. I ain't even let you. I, I know you're a good man. But you, okay, well maybe Lavelle Crawford, man. Yeah, uh, Rain said you just called him at a bad time. Yeah, called him at a bad time. Shit, I, I, hell, I did. I, I did Mike Tyson like that. Mike Tyson take, take, looked at me crazy. Didn't take no picture. A couple niggas take, looked at me crazy. Too. Zero. You try to take a picture with Zero? Man, Zero looked at me crazy. I was nineteen years old. What? Explain to me what I, happened. I, I Break was, it down I to me. I was nineteen years ago. I was with that girl. That I was staying at the house. Was, you like Zero? Yeah, 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 yeah. I was, I was with the girl. She liked her too. She was a bigger fan, right? And so I was with the girl. And we stay in so she was like, let's go see Zero. So I'm a little broke ass nigga. Took my girl to go see Zero. Right? Trying to be a good nigga. We rolled up in her punny. Pulled up. Pulled up. They gave me a hard time at the door. I spent my last skin in her. You hear me? Just us see Zero. So I lied to the whole time like I'm connected in the streets. You know what I'm saying? I ain't connected to nobody. So boom. We find it. Zero get off stage. Right? And I'm like. She was right there. It was my opportunity. She food my girl. I'm that nigga. Right? So I was zero. Get out stay. He took some pictures right here. Greg Street number out here. He took some pictures. This and that. This and that. Corey Clay one. Um, everybody was right there. So uh, I see zero. It's my time. We lock eyes. I thought we locked eyes. So I was like, hey, zero, what's up, man? Can I get a picture for my girl? And he looked at me like that. He looked at me like that and, moved, moved, and looked at me like that and kept on talking to somebody. And then I was like, damn, so she heard me. So I act like I ain't never say nothing. Like I, I act like I just didn't say that, that statement. Like, so she heard me, so she was like, she just went on about her bit and he went on about the business store talking to somebody else, taking pictures for everybody else. So I, I was like, damn. 
And I was like, damn. So boom, she came and said, hey, I'm your biggest fan. Can I please get a picture with you? He said, come on. Mm. So he wasn't just trying to acknowledge you at the time. He wasn't trying to acknowledge me at all. Damn, he liked them women. He after them hoes. He liked them hoes. Yeah, so at the end, now nah, he ain't like them hoes. He just like, look at you. Sometimes when you broken, people look at you like a peon. Oh, yeah, you didn't have no jewelry or no, nothing. I had nothing. I had a gap in front of my teeth. You had nothing. Yeah, I had nothing. But he made me feel less than a man. Did you forgive him for that? No, nah, hell no. Nah. What? Listen, listen, so. I, that I, was when he didn't know. I, I'm on side, I'm, and, I, and I was a bigger supporter. Uh, I, I texted people and asked them to do a song with Mo3, the Mo3 album. And his, the dude texted me back and was like, yeah, Zero got a female artist. Can you put her on the album too? No. Mm -mm. The fuck? What the fuck you think this is? Hell nah. Mo3 got more platinum than, than Zero. Like man, hell no. Nah. And I seen him too one time. Like man, I need you to give him three albums. And he gave me, he gave me the nigga number. The nigga talking about can he got put his female rapper on? I was like, oh shit. I seen Trey though. I seen Trey. I'm side by side with his middle of the street, right? Yeah. And, and Trey pulled me to the side. I locked eyes with Trey. And he was like, Hey, hey, Nick, come here, come here. He did me like Big Worm did smoking on that, on that, on that. Uh, Friday. Uh -huh, Friday on the ice cream truck. So the whole, so when he did like that, the whole, the whole six free had spread it out so I could walk through. So he put his arm around me, walked to the side to say, I seen you on Boss Talk. Why you say that bitch ass shit? What did you say? <laughs> what, did you, <laughs> what did you say, man? I told Zero to sue his ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah. I remember that. What did you tell Trey? I said, I, I said, nah, I ain't, I ain't. <laughs> <laughs> he said, he, he said, that nigga really sued me. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, yeah. Well, you know you wild as hell, man. Yeah, yeah. But that's, what's wrong with Rain Step, Mr. Maker? Crazy. Damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, 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 okay, you got this album coming out. We got to talk about uh, that. Uh. He said May 31st. We nah. holding you on it? Is he going to push it back? What has he got nah, going? Nah, it's already locked in. May 31st, the biggest album in Dallas history. It's Mo three biggest album. How many songs? Uh, fourteen. Fourteen songs. But hold on, what, you saying that you got to tell me? Did Baby really leak that song? Oh, I forgot about that. But thank you. Nah, I I sent it to Baby the day before. I knew you did. We both said yeah. that. I was like, and Nah, said, this is plotted. Yeah, yeah, I, I did. But but you know, people like negative shit in, in the rap industry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I I put that out. Okay. I told him put it out there. Okay, I knew, you, I, 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 we already knew it, but I just wanted to see what you was going to say. Yeah. So you telling me this album is bigger than Shotters? Oh, come, yeah. Come on, man. No, it is. It, it, yeah, it is. It's What's the name of the album, man? Uh, it's Legend. Legend. Yeah, yeah, And why yeah. is it the biggest? Because it's well put together. Well put Took together. Took you long enough. I know what I'm saying. I had to wait till the other album go go. Which album? The Shot. last ones, no, uh, uh, Shot Us Forever. Shot Us Forever. Let's because go. you know, if you put it out too soon, it's gonna take away from It'll take that. Away. So I waited, I waited three that years. That makes sense. And it made sense, because it went gold, it went gold two weeks before his birthday and two weeks before the album come out. That Which, makes sense. out of all the albums from Osama, Shot Us, Shot Us Forever, all his albums that he done, which one do you, do, do, do you think this one is more like? Shot Us, Shot Us 3.0. Shout out to 3.0 has some hits on there. Everybody ain't your friend all that. Yeah, it did. It did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, this bitch a bad motherfucker. This bitch a bad motherfucker. Like, like, this bitch a bad How you gonna roll this out? It's already rolling. I seen I seen a big X in the connection. I can't wait to hear that one because I'm I actually, I, I, I actually, that X gonna go in. I actually put my Mexican OT on that song too. Oh same one with X. With, wow. Yeah. With X and yeah, Mexican my, yeah, let's go do let's go go gold platinum. Which so out of all the songs, which one you think is gonna came everybody up, gonna love? Came up featuring uh, Ty Harris. I put a choir behind. You her. said that before already yeah. on the last interview. Yeah, I put I put a choir. You still sticking behind it? That's a bad motherfucker. I put the whole damn thing together piece by piece, so I know. But I always did that when Mo three was alive. I was the one sitting there and went. Got, I show y'all the text message we got between us and Kevin Gates to put Kevin Gates on Broken Love. Yeah. Uh, uh, I was one that kept on me and Zach kept on really telling him about getting on outside. Uh, uh, like most of all the Mo three songs. Which part of this album was most emotional for you to put together? Mm -hmm, I started crying the other day. Uh, Which song was it? I started crying for. Oh, I seen the video of uh, some really Mo three. 
That's in one of the videos. Yes, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, crazy. Which song was that for? Uh, we were doing the video. To oh, yeah, you haven't looked at all the behind the yeah, scenes yeah. footage. Yeah. Oh, now. Yeah, 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 yeah. When they were walking through that lake, sometimes you're thinking, like, "How my both? We're my most close partners in this music industry, gone." How do you keep going with with with, with knowing that they people gone? be mad because I keep pushing them all through. But oh, they be mad, mad. Man, you know these motherfuckers be on there telling me just let them rest. Yeah, I see that a lot of times in the comments. What are you talking about? Well, why would somebody say that? Because they ignorant. They don't want. They see when Mo three died, everybody supposed to die. You know, like seven and done done. They went away. They eventually go away. I'm not going away. But yeah. you. But I would think that anybody would want to have somebody in their corner who will keep their name alive, like how you've been working to keep his name alive. Yeah. yeah but people don't understand that because it's not them in their corner. Man, listen, I'm putting like this. I don't, I mean, I don't give a damn. It's a rapper. I ain't going to say his name because I ain't going to put him out there. But he know me and the people going to know. It's a rapper. Mo3 died. He made all kind of videos on the internet like he was crying. He was so sad about the situation. Uh, he made multiple multiple uh, Instagram posts about Mo3. You know, like he really loved Mo3. And I ain't going to say he really don't. Um, uh, what does he do? It, it, at all his shows At his shows He get booked now Just to go sing Mo3 songs All his shows he, he It's like a 10 minute 20 minute Mo3 Let me sing all Mo3 songs So And what happened? I called him And said I need you to Come out here to, to Dallas And do a tribute to Mo3 Concert Where I'm letting everybody in free mm -hmm. And Mo3 Kids Is paying for it Promotion of the album that some bitch still. That some bitch said I I usually charge four thousand, but just give me thirty five hundred dollars. Then he kept calling about the thirty five hundred dollars. Then he letting the baby mamas get the money together. Nah, that shit over with. Cause you see a lot of people posting Mo three back in the day, and um, you don't they don't post it no more. Even even the rappers that were signed to him, they don't post the new album coming out. You understand what I'm saying? But I'm a solid individual And people be like In the comments They be like You'll never meet no more But three I know I ain't I ain't even trying to no more You know what I'm saying I ain't trying to no more that So is the, so people thinking that You keep pushing him Or keep doing this Because you're trying to get Make money off of him Yeah I make I make I make, I make, I make That's my job I, I was after you No but is that the yeah, reason yeah, Why yeah, yeah, people yeah, yeah, You know yeah. saying Let him live Let him you know Die because there's like You taking advantage of Like a person who's already Passed away That's Nah cause if Mo3 was alive Mo3 kept on Nigga put me out Put that shit out If I could, if he was in jail right now If I could talk to him right now He still just say Yeah Ryan keep doing that shit I'll keep his name alive What other rapper Been dead for this long And people still participating In the album Right That's for real Right, Pop Smoke, you don't hear about his albums coming out no more. Von had an album coming out, you don't hear about that shit no more. Uh, uh, what artists? And if you're not pushing, the kids not getting anything. They're not getting that. nothing. If I don't push it, the kids ain't getting nothing. Mm -hmm. The money dropped tremendously. The money you probably get every month dropped tremendously for the last two a year. Like so, the kids was barely getting something. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, it's my job to keep it going on because you know, like like you know, um, um. A rapper name that would die quick. You know what I'm saying? So, so with, he, with him being gone three years, um, this album is more anticipated than a lot of niggas that that, that that's alive. Like I, I, I'm, I'm excited about it because you've been like you, a lot. You made a nigga really anticipate when this when this album coming. You've been holding back for a minute, probably longer than I ever seen you hang on any other one. Will there be another Mo three album after yeah, this? There's another one this year too. Oh, so you got more? Yeah, I got more. I got way more. I ain't even, shit, I ain't even started on 40 songs. But it take a lot, though. How hard is it doing those albums without Mo3, man? Because you can't Put go them back. them together, you know. Because you can't go back and tell them to say something. If he was alive, it'd be easy. But I've been doing this since I met him. Like, like, like you got to go back to them interviews with Hit The Ho saying, me and Rain used to go in the studio and do this, do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, even from the No Shames, from the hooks to, um, um, I've been doing the same shit. You know what I'm saying? From the Bay Bay hosting to Hit The Ho hosting. Uh, uh, I've been doing the same shit, but it's hard because I can't tell them what to say or what to do. That's real hard. That's real hard. Because you got to get a you gotta, you gotta get a beat. You got to get an acapella. Like, Every song on this album, I um, 
Every song on this album, I uh, I got nine different beats, nine to nine to twelve different beats on each song. See what I'm saying? So I had, I have to, you know. So I'm just happy to hear that I'm coming. So here we got little Pinky coming in. Mm -hmm. She fit a she fit a uh, uh, talk with you a little bit about. Uh, she has uh, just a couple of questions I want to get in. Um, and uh, really, you know, uh, she's gonna bring from a different perspective than what I did. I don't know if you remember Brittany Loso. I used to br I bring people in. That's what I do. Who's Brittany Loso. Brittany Loso sit right there beside you the same way, and she asked you a couple of questions. She had on the day I was drunk. Yeah, you did get drunk. Check it, man. Hey, man, listen, man. Stop playing, man. Stop what you're exactly. doing, man. Join the membership of Boss Talk 101, man. We got Rainwater in the building. We got a little Pinky in the building. We got Miss Jamaica in the building. It's about to go down. So check it, man. We got a little Pinky. What's up, little Pinky? Welcome to Boss Talk 101 with Rainwater. What's up, y'all? You know who it is. It's your girl, little Pinky. Man, is she in the building? Yes, baby. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Man, up, so I appreciate that intro, little Pinky. I thought this motherfucker was classy. <laughs> <laughs> she be cutting up, man. To be honest with you, man, good to have you, man. So we got Rainwater on here today, man. Rainwater, come on, Boss Talk 101. Probably more than a lot of people. Between him and OG Pyro, it's a couple of people that come through all the time. So uh, what question do you have for my boy Rain today? Oh, Rain, I was hearing <laughs> you talk about there's no female rappers in the DFW that you would be willing to work with, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I would need them, but they got, I don't want that. I don't want no girl talking about popping pussy. I feel you on that. You gotta tell a story. I'm tired of hearing that mm -hmm. too. You gotta, you gotta tell a story. <laughs> but look, most girls that's real, they freaky. Why is you moving over? Uh, 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 my, 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 most girls that's real, real they most girls that's real, they freaky. I've been having some. I've been signing some real artists that talk about some real shit, and they always get pregnant. All right, well then you gotta find something that's not too freaky. That's what I'm saying. So what are you looking for? I want a solid, real person to tell a story. What? But most, what I realize is, a lot of women, a lot of women who got deep stories, are looking for love because they was without a father figure in their life. Right, they got daddy issues. They got daddy issues, mm -hmm. and so a lot of women are looking for love because, like I said, a lot of women at this age right now, um, they was actually born crack babies. Oh, you're looking in the wrong area. And cocaine babies. <laughs> you're looking in the wrong damn areas, yeah, man. Why is you looking in the wrong artists. area? Oh, there was booty talk babies. You know what I'm saying? Booty talk babies. Yeah, What's it, that? It used to be this tape. It used to be a cassette tape or a DVD come out and say booty talk. It was a lot of volumes of booty talk. You never know saw in the black community, like we used to sneak and watch booty talk babies. Yeah, booty talk it was yeah. a real popular yeah. to us. We, we it was a lot of uh, uh, the new girls that was popping like, in, like, the, like, in the porn industry. Yeah, yeah. That's like, where you find them at. Like oh. you was too advanced for booty talk. I'm too advanced for it? Yeah. Oh, yay. Because it was, B it was BBL. <laughs> them hoes didn't have no white teeth. Them hoes was just like like Capital Beach Party hoes. And, and what you do for a living? I just wanted to ask you. Ah! I wanted to ask you. Cause <laughs> I, I, what you do? Wait a minute, Ray. Uh, Ray, we uh, are not going to put a little pinky out there. What do you do for a living? Oh, and I what, what do you do for a living, Ray? No, I'm asking because they say you're a truck driver. What was the point of getting a BBL if you're a truck driver? Why you got to look so good to be a truck driver? What's wrong with looking good being a truck driver? Why do I got to look like the typical truck driver? Because like like that like, doesn't work for me. Like you walk in, if, like because I grew up at a truck stop. Okay. So <laughs> if I if I got out the car and think so that I I pop up and go in there and take a piss, right? I'm gonna go pee at the truck stop. So I go in the bathroom and that truck stop and I and I come out the door and I see you walking, mm -hmm. getting out of the truck, walking inside. I'm gonna think you sell it ass. Even if I get out of the driver's side? No, no. If I don't see you get out of no oh, truck. Yeah. Yeah, even if, you got, if I don't see you get out of no truck, even if you got a truck, I say, oh, some nigga back there sleep. Oh, so I'm a lot lizard automatically when you see me I'm coming asking. out of truck. Yeah, no, but I'm just saying. No offense to you, but why do you got to look so good to be a truck driver? Do you make content in a truck? I do. She do. And she on Boss Talk 101. She my co-host now. There what the go. hell? you got? Go. What are you doing? This is... I, I got her on boss talk now. Mm -hmm. So we don't that the truck driving thing is big. We're pushing that and we're pushing boss talk. Yeah, so so do you have to do hard labor? Do you uh, so you're not the type of girl to go empty the back of the train? I do not. I don't touch freight. Oh, you don't? No. So you get paid a little lesser. She with that, boss that, talk that, now, man. Not, that has and she's known on, on and she's got online presence too. So she's oh, making money out of If you work for a company, you gotta undo the uh, unload it. No, that's not true. 
Man, my daddy been working at Frito Life for 19 years. That's, 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 that's what he been doing. And my granddad, right, my granddad's yeah. working for some uh for for I forgot the name of the company. They, and they get back there and they had their trailer unloaded. That's not for every every company, no. Mm-mm. I mean, it's just some. I mean, you work for Frito Lay, and if that's your job is to unload, mm-hmm. that's your job to unload. Me, I don't. I just drive. I reverse. Here's my paperwork. Get the shit off. Let me know when you're done. But why you got to look so good to be a goddamn... <laughs> goddamn so it, you helps, save me. it helps when it comes to unloading. That's why I was upset. Talk to these folks, mm-hmm. man. No, let them talk. But I don't know why not. I didn't do it for truck driving. I did it for myself. For what, though? Because I wanted to look a certain way. So, do you, so listen, listen, listen. Getting that BBL and getting them titties done... It works for me. No, it, but it, it's, it's, it's almost like getting a tattoo on your face as a man. I have tattoos on my face. I know what I'm saying, but so listen, you can never get a corporate drop with this ass. I don't need one. <laughs> <laughs> I've always worked you can, in a man's field. I'm saying, but you can never get a corporate drive. You can never do the type of typical thing that a woman should do because you you want, you the one wanted this ass. Nobody I'm told a you to get this ass. Tomboy at heart. I don't need to sit there and work a woman's job. I'll do a man's job, and that's what I'm proving. I'm Uh-oh. four nine. So listen. <laughs> <laughs> so how many kids? How many kids you got? I have two. So so and there any boys? I have a boy that's 19. He graduates Monday. Yeah. Hey, what's up? So, so put like this. So put like this. It's interesting, okay? <laughs> okay. It's interesting. Let me, let me break this down. So with an ass like that, ain't it embarrassing his friends look at your ass? Oh, no. No. Hmm? No, I, I mean, I've had, I've done my body for like, oh my God, probably at least 10 years. So, I mean, my kids know, I mean... They're not ashamed no, of me. No, you, no, no, no. You can't speak to them. <laughs> okay, uh, let me give you a prime example. Let me give a prime example. So uh, the other day, my daughter was, uh, you know, just Snapchat, right? She's 15, and she recorded. We did, um, you know that song that goes, uh, bow, 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 fuck my baby dad, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So the other day, we went to go take pictures, and she did a video of me, and, you know, bow, 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 mm-hmm. right? And then uh, she posted on her Snapchat, and then, of course, the boys started commenting. They started um, sitting there sending her uh, snaps. I'm like, oh, your mama, da, 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 get her to send us a video. And I think when they were younger, maybe they were kind of more like, don't look at my mama. Now they're like, yeah, that's my no, mama. No, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> your daughter saying. probably do that. But your son, your son don't say, look at your mama. Mm. If, if me and him playing the game. I don't think any of these uh, boys have said anything to him. And if they have, I don't know about it. Okay, listen, if me and him playing the game, and I'm sitting there saying, Damn, your mom got a fat ass. And you just walking doing your normal shit. That's embarrassing. Or, <gasps> or, or, or it's embarrassing for your son. Or if y'all, if, if you walking through the... Should we call my son real quick yeah, and ask him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or if, we, if y'all walking through yeah. the mall, if y'all, let's get him on the line. If, they walk, on the line. The, if they walk through the mall and then niggas say, hey, 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 come here. With that fat ass. They, I've ne- they've never, I've never had somebody uh, disrespect no, no, me no, no, like no, that. No, no, but you ain't got this person. Hey, how you doing? They do. Hey, beautiful. I said, hey, baby. See, see that's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, my kids know that I've been in this uh, social media life for a while. When I first started. Call uh, him. Call him. Oh, I, okay. I want to speak for him. Right. <laughs> yeah, let's get his opinion. Because I'm walking through school and the teacher and the, pre- and the principal or the football coach, let's say the football coach at school, he only looking at this ass. Can we you don't know that yeah, for sure. Speakerphone. Yes, okay. we know that for sure. I know. Right, right. everybody ain't just looking at her ass. Yes, they, yes, are. they are. See, my daughter, <laughs> my daughter locks see? eyes with grown men. Like yes, they yes, see. They do. She, every man ain't just looking at that. Some some people ignore her ass, trying no, not to don't. look at her. No, ass. no, you can't. They, you, you can't. can't. Do. You can't. <laughs> if you looking at her face, you looking you at her can't. teeth and them titties. That is not true. You can't get around the titties. I don't agree with that. What if it was real? Huh? All right. I hit in here. No, no, no. It would never be real like this. With her <laughs> size and her ethnic group, you would never see an ass like they come with natural ass. Yeah, no. <laughs> Does oh, you know? Shit, <laughs> oh, well, you I, mean, I know that I built myself to look fake. Are I wasn't you, trying to look normal. Oh, you on OnlyFans too? Yes, who isn't? You fucking on there? No, I'm a solo, <laughs> I'm a solo creator. I'm a solo creator. I do it's not have a It's the new nothing. generation. The new generation is out of control. <laughs> Sexy Red did this to us. Now nah, she was before Sexy Red. No, she but said ten years ago she'd no, been doing. No, no, but well, no, not no. only fans, but yeah, social see? media. Sexy Red brought her out to so be comfortable doing I what she wanted. I think old do. girl did that. Uh, what's, the uh, sex- what's that girl name that said meet me outside? How about that? She made millions yeah, before Sexy did. Red. Yes, she, she made did. way yeah. more money. But, she made but, fifty million. But she ain't had no. Look at this. <laughs> hey, where's your brother at? See, are are you not there with him? Is she a parent? Is he with grandma? See that? She's a parent. Okay. Um, yeah, ain't huh? no parent. You said no? Ain't no parent doing no uh, fuck can my I baby daddy dances. He's 19. 
That, huh? She we won. did it today. Me, me, and my son, and my daughter did it today. We had him just standing there. Your son did it. Well, he was just kind of like, like being goofy. My kids are goofy. They all oh. for it. So he won turn, top. So he won yes, turn around. He won. He won bouncing his ass. No, no. It was just more. He was just like. Cause he was in his stop, role. stop, 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 stop. You want me to show you a video? Yeah, show, show it. I'll show you the video. I'll picture, call you back, baby. I can't picture like this. Lay, lay, lay. Good God. <laughs> all right, all right. Like let this. me find it. Let me see. Hold on, let me find it real quick. I ain't checking my baby mama. Make sure I ain't fucking my baby mama. But we don't have the. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have the. Shit, wow. Song with it. Yeah, she get crazy. Shit, wow. She get crazy. <laughs> you need to do this. Ugh. I don't, I don't have the song connected, so this was us doing it real quick. Once I put the song with her, see? See, that ass too damn fat. Look Let at me this. See. This is how nah, nah, you married. See. You married. Mr. Jamaica. Mr. Jamaica. See, that's okay. The song's not on, connected to it yet, but that's, that's right. the song we're putting with that's it. That's what? That's not acceptable? No, no. Hold. Did you watch it already? Yeah, yeah. look. Why is that I'm not watching. acceptable? That's not acceptable. Why? It's just that's us too together. much ass. Oh, okay. okay. They just doing yeah, yeah. No, they are family, yeah, man. Yeah, that's sorry. not family, man. Stop. Family is when that's family, bro. Family is when Big Mama used to take us to the to, to the graduation. We all say, "Hey, go get some eat." After graduation, she bouncing her ass. No, yeah. I know I'm not. This is not after graduation. He got a gown on. It was at pictures. We did pictures. Today. See, family. It's just me. It's just my kids. We kid. never seen no. Listen, your ass. Listen, 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 listen. I'm trying to get listen, him on the phone. Yeah, listen. You, you, listen. You can't do it. Because listen, that'd be a bit. That, that, that do you go to the pool with them? <laughs> I, do. I do. I do. But I try to be respectful and I try to wear something over my bottom. You know? But you can't cover that ass up. I know. Huh? I know. You, you can't, right? No, I can't. So, 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 what's the shortest shit you ever wore? Just a bathing suit. Other than that, like around my kids, mm -hmm. the bathing suit. But I try to, but you know. See, she tries to. She don't care. <laughs> she don't give a don't fuck. Care. No, no. So, look, I told my kids the other day when we went swimming. Let me see your social media. So your Call. son, you have a 19-year-old son. I do. That's probably getting ass. Of course. So, so, so the problem is when your daughter turned 18, the 18-year-olds don't know who to, hit, who to fuck with. What you mean? Yeah, she, elaborate. Because when they turn 18, the mama going to be better than the daughter. Daughter might be better than the mom. No, no. no. We, we, this well put together. Yeah. She, <laughs> see? No, see? It, it, see? I built myself. Yes. 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 She built herself. Yes. yes. Yeah. So, so, I didn't have so it's outrageous. How would you nothing. feel if your daughter so, decided about, she wanted to do it? If my, if if my daughter, daughter came to you and said, Mom, I, I will build help her pay for it. Mm. I support it because of the fact that I know how I grew up. I grew up like everybody's little homeboy. I had no tits. I had no body. So, you always wanted to be the sex symbol. I always wanted to be feel like a female. Yeah. Not a little homeboy. So I did my body and I looked up to Nicki Minaj and I said, see, if, I'm gonna see, do it, man. if I'm going to do it, I want to do it to where when I walk in the room, my ass is so fat, I got everybody uncomfortable. That's, just fucking, that's fucking outrageous. Because that's now, good job. Nah, that ain't no damn good job because her son. Welcome to, that, that's, hey, Lil Pinky, Boss Talk 101, host is here. <laughs> yeah. Making niggas uncomfortable yeah, is what we doing that's now. That, that's no, that's, that, that's, right that, now. That's, that's not because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, just say, man, Man, that's in, that's uncomfortable. For who? Your son. I think they realize I've been doing but, no, they entertainment they for so long. No, I it pays the bills. They can't. They listen. They can't. They mama, your, mama, mama, your mama. Son, your I son. Said, okay, <laughs> wait, baby. Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> Got you. His son, her son, go meet a, a nice wholesome family. Get married. All right, you get married. You know, got a nice, wholesome church family, hard working. I highly doubt that. Uh, no, 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 no. The daughter. That's what the daughter. The daughter. The daughter. I mean, the the young lady family. You said they can't meet mama. Yeah, that's yeah what they you're can't meet mama. That's what you're trying to kill. Oh, you know what? What we See? talking about? My son's yeah. uh, girlfriend. Yeah. yeah. All right. So check this out. The daddy gonna be trying to fuck her. Check this out. See. <laughs> <laughs> check this out. So my son, they asked me to come over, or you know, go meet uh, her her dad because her mom is uh, passed. So I met her dad, and he's like a big Samoan guy. That's how he's built, it mm -hmm. looks to me, right? So I walk in, and he's like, hey, nice to come inside. So I walk in the house, he's like, nice to meet you. I shook his hand. He's like, yeah, uh, my daughter showed me, you know, your social media. I'm like, oh, good God. Oh, it's up. Oh, good it's God, up. okay. He been wanting to get and over then, there. And then the other day, I went out to eat with them, right? Uh, with her dad and her grandma, you know, as a family, mm -hmm. the kids and everything. We're sitting there talking, and the grandma started telling me things that, the granddaughter didn't know, and she's like, "I did what I had to do, you know, to provide for my kids." I said, oh, "Yes, she did. So do, so do I. She was hooked. So do I. She bring out the devil. Don't don't come out. Don't come at me looking at me cricket. Mm -hmm. I'm doing what I gotta do. 
I'm a single parent. I've always been. And ain't nothing wrong with this. Is mm-hmm. 2024. You gonna let this whole go? Listen, mm-hmm. listen, listen, listen. Yeah. I'll be pay- I'll be playing the game, but you don't go back to the game. You know what I'm <laughs> <laughs> now I'm gonna try to figure out go go to play Fortnite with her son. And so, <laughs> and so I'll be playing the game with your son. Say, you see your mama new video on OnlyFans. <laughs> ah, you would never. Bro, a kid could sit there. You you better hope your you son. You don't know if any of his friends are but watching. But my my kids my kids have told me. Uh, Cause they used to follow me, you know, but like on Facebook, and then uh, my daughter took me off, um, which is cool. They I embarrass it. about it. They don't embarrass. <laughs> they don't want to see me shaking my ass. That's what I'm saying. It's I don't embarrassing. See my mama shaking my her ass either. It's embarrassing. Teacher conference, graduation. They love me. The principals love me. They're like, man, they don't love you. They want to. You. That's what. Well, my problem. I'm a fantasy online. Nobody gets to fuck me. Sorry. I understand it, but still, it's like hey, your mama. It, it's gonna make them want to go to your OnlyFans and yes, you make money. They probably, they probably buy a lot of your OnlyFans. They hurry up and go get an OnlyFans. What you saying, Rain? Listen, listen, listen. Do they go get only? Is the yeah, principal right, right. on the OnlyFans? Yeah, principal on OnlyFans too. So listen, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Listen, uh, like anything, like it's part of the industry. Okay. I mean, what can I do? Like soccer, your son you plays soccer. You no, he used to play. He used to be in uh, football, but that's when he was in elementary. See, listen. So now you got to think about these football coaches. What they do, <laughs> like. And these football coaches and these girls will come up here and let their son play. You know, your son can't play for shit, but that coach go put him in the game. And he was the he smallest wanna, he wanna one. Hit some ass. <laughs> he wants to hit some ass. Football coaches, Pee Wee football coaches are the freakiest motherfuckers in the world. Yeah, I'm glad you got out of then that. You, then, you, yeah, then you got the barbecue, man. You get free barbecue and all that kind of shit? I don't go socialize anymore. What you do? Just stay at I, home? I stay at home and work. Mm-hmm. So what is working to you? Social media, She editing, promote Boss Talk 101. Like she I'm, promote everything she I do. I do everything myself. Let me so. see one of your videos on the fan. Bro. On, on what? Only fans. <laughs> <laughs> no, what are you um, Tell him, tell, tell him, you, you can, can go sign up. Right? Sign up. You can sign up. Nah, that shit is tricky. You can go sign up. You gotta sign, sign up. How much it costs to get yeah. on there? No, no, you call, you charge. How much it costs? Just fifteen. See, that ain't bad. That's a lot. Listen, listen. Let me tell you why it's a lot. Yo, she know why it's a lot. But once you get in, they start making you pay more than them. You do. I do this several. I done did it several times. I got tricked on my stuff. You pay to subscribe, yeah. and it's monthly. They should take out your take out your bank account before they let you know them. Right? Every month they'll come out. Then. Then you got to pay for other videos. So if I may pay to subscribe, then I kind of say, all right, let me see a single video in the shower. She might say $100. What? No, no. Not me. What'd you say? The way I look at it when I'm, I'm hustling on, on OnlyFans is I don't try to high price it. Because when I high price it, I'll get one or two. But when I sit here and, and bring it down, I get, you know, m- way more and it adds up quick. One or two ain't going to last for So me. how much your price for single videos? It just depends on what it is. So See? let's just range it from um, 7 to 13. Oh, seven to thirteen. So she ain't bad at all. And nah, I'd nah. rather no, everybody get it. No, no, no. You gold. get the point to get that. No, no, no. But you gonna keep on buying it. It's addicting. Huh? <laughs> That's the point. I know. You keep buying that thirteen dollars. Thirteen turn it to two, three hundred. Like the same day. Nah, How yeah. long is the video for thirteen dollars? Thirty uh, seconds. No, it, ain't. it depends. See? Um, it could be two minutes, three minutes. Two minutes. It, de- yeah. it depends what it is. See. They can be personalized. When it's personalized, it's gonna cost you. How see? much is the highest you can pay to to see you? for? Personalized, the Women. most expensive for you. For you, for me. Yeah. What's so the most let's expensive say, video um, that you do? Okay. Uh, personalized, like okay. Let's see. What's the most expensive video you've ever done? Give us all. Uh, and charge somebody for probably thirty dollars. That ain't bad. I pay, I, when I first started, I was uh, charging people a hundred dollars for a picture. But you changed it. Oh yeah, because I rather have, I rather have the money just keep coming in than come in and stop. For one because or two they people. can't afford to keep right. it up. I'll try to keep the price on where everybody can afford you're it. You're a good business woman. Like you're right. Yeah, that's you know good saying? business. I don't, I don't need all that. So, are you up, have you ever thought about just going to whole core porn? Or a core porn? Uh, no. I'm but, a, I've been a solo creator for a while. Because porn, you got to do it with somebody. She want to do I don't it with have, herself. I don't have no females. I don't have no men on there because for what? But but porn make you more money. I'm sure it does. Since you're already in that water, just swim. You're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah. But it's. It, I mean, for me, if I keep showing that I'm untouchable, my so, prices can so, stay there. Yeah. So let me tell you a lesson learned. What I did this whole thing. You supposed to come out here interviewing me. I don't got you interviewing. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care how I go because I know how you are. Though. <laughs> I know how you are. I, I kind of know how it's gonna go for but it. It's go. wrong. I'm not going off of it. It's embarrassing <laughs> for your son. But you be walking around with How you ass. gonna speak for I'm him? You can't speak for your son. I know because I'm gonna say it. Call your mom. Call your dad. Call your dad. 
Oh, your dad. I don't speak to my she dad. Speak. You don't, he's, I got daddy issues. Yes. I wouldn't speak to your dad. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's, never, been, he's yeah. never been in my life. Uh, oh, my, yeah. Call your mom. Call your mom. Call your mom. You want me to call my call mom? mom? Are you going to ask mom if she's embarrassed? Yes, ma'am. Let me call your mom. Okay, hold on. I want to see my son. I don't think about being embarrassed. Huh? She's been building this up. It, you I would be mad if your daughter came in this and said, I wouldn't really worry about it. Yeah. Yeah. She pays all of their bills. I, pay I don't give a bills. fuck. Listen. You pay your mama bills? I used, yes, took care of my mother, my sister, her son, my brother, both my kids. Who's I son? did what I have. Huh? Uh, my sister's son. How old's your nephew? Uh, five, six. Oh, shit. Yeah, you take care of all of them. They ain't got nobody like that. I did what I had to do. I think I picked the right person. That's why I'm going out there. The only thing. The only thing. The only thing. The only thing. She pay for everything like you pay for everything. Now we're going to see. Because at first, maybe, at first, don't get me wrong. My mom was like, oh, my friend said they see. I said, well, tell them to unfriend me. Yeah, she's here. Because I'm making money. No, 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 yes. no, 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 no,
Uh, I don't want to get married. I've rejected four marriages, and I said see, no. See the they didn't saying. make me feel like they were the one that I wanted to be. With. So, what, what, a, a, you can just say I don't. I don't want to get married. Look, you, I eventually do one day. You can't get married. To, you can't get married to somebody rich. Why? Okay. I don't need to. I make the money. Why she can't get married to somebody rich? Because she, she want to control the situation. No, I don't. I want to feel like a female, and if a man's not doing better than me to make me feel feminine, then I don't need him if I got to feel like a man. No, hell no. What, do you know how to be submissive, right? Yes. No, no. Okay. What, what you if do? He, what? Yes. How do you be submissive? I mean, Why I mean, did you I smell listen. her answers later? How she be listen, submissive? But, but like, I'm not going to listen. Listen, this going to make you get a divorce. Nah, no, no, I see that. No, no, no. Man, you, too, you too concerned about this situation. No. No. Listen, 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 listen. It ain't going to do nothing. Listen, no, listen. This is a problem. I'd rather be submissive. This is a problem. How? How how as long as yes, like, so, like, describe a submissive what woman. What y'all got going on? I mean, if a, a man tells me like if a man makes me feel like that he is a man, you know, and he is, um, like, just take the role of a man, right? Like if we gotta go somewhere, we gotta drive, whatever, do it. Don't make me do it. You, you know can't drive. Saying? Yes, I can. Oh boy, you drive eighteen wheels, nigga. But what I'm you saying is, roll me around. If a man makes yeah, me that's feel, good <laughs> what? That's you a good driver. Yeah, yeah I am a good you driver. Drive but every if, a, time. if a man makes me feel. Like he is a man, he gives me that vibe that he is in charge. I'm real quick. You tell me what to do. You say something. But what yes, if sir. He, okay, what if he was broke though? No. See, <laughs> I maybe back in the day, See? but I've learned my lesson. I took care of too many men. Even and if he has promise. Promise what? <laughs> <laughs> like of a good a dream. future, like, like a, a dream, dream. Like, stuff like that. I, okay, I've I've done that already. I've done it with. This baby daddy with this man and that man. I'm not taking care of no men no more. You better be doing them better than me because I don't need to listen to a man that's below my level. I need a man that's going to make me climb. Do better than me so I can chase you and be just like Now nah, stop. That's pinky right there, nah, guys. No, no, no. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. The last girl when I was 19 years old used to bully me around and she kicked me out because I was broke. Now she's broke. So at the end of the day, look at somebody dream. What if this man come and paint the house? I have. He come paint the house, move couches. Do, do. I have. I've started. I have helped rats? men. I have helped men start their career. Well, so what if a For, rat? What if a rat in your house right now tonight? Who I'm gonna kill that mother. <laughs> I know that's right. Because I am, I, I am you the man of the you house. Scared, you scared of bugs. I'll still kill it, though. Got you on the <laughs> own Did own I not? I'll still kill it. It took so, you a minute, so but look, he did. So look, I sure did. The problem is with this situation is, and I understand everything you're saying, but what? A, a person with some money is not going to marry no woman with only fans. I'm not looking for a man with money to marry me. I'm just trying to live life and do what I got to do. And if I stay single for the rest of my life, oh, well. You don't want to die single. I don't. We better pull y'all by here. We got kids. another guest we got to bring oh, on here. Okay. Y'all got to swap out. Y'all have done the most. <laughs> oh, yeah, come on. Yeah, well, now, now we got, now we, hey, now we got <laughs> Starships and Rockets about to pull up. Uh, we, we, we got Star coming on. The, uh, uh, we got. If y'all want to hear more about this stuff. Comment below, ask for the part two. Yeah, because Lil Pinky will come back and, and get with Rainwater some more, Rainwater on here tripping. Y'all slick, y'all got these new characters, <laughs> and I'm just boosting them motherfuckers up. <laughs> <laughs> now, this one right here, she, oh, she's, she's, now, she's she was totally with, uh, with, she different, she was with Money don't, Moses. Don't uh, talk about a, 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 a pretty good, uh, she had to. Well, no, no she, she definitely, uh, she, this is Star, <laughs> Star is uh, definitely OTCU, um, and and Star was, kind of, I met her through Money Moses. Money Moses got years in prison. They broke up. Yeah, that's that's crazy, man. Yeah, I, he got two years. He, I, I, free I, Money Moses. Yeah, I'm I'm a write him or something because nigga, we you, gotta write him. Yeah, that's my boy. Nigga, you was in everybody else's business, not knowing telling me you finna go to the penitentiary. <laughs> when well, she ain't with him no more. Jump out that blue bird and start stabbing shit. You know, you know, why would you leave this man after he <laughs> at the hardest time of his life? Money Moses had a baby mama. She was in, up in that two time inbox, and you remember uh, and all the rappers. She was he was always arguing with the female. Then he get you, and he got all this stress about the kids. He got boss talk. He got to go find a job. Then he want to be a rapper, and then he don't want to be a rapper. <laughs> then he got this beautiful girl right. He got he this beautiful girl everything. right here, and then and then as soon as he get locked up, you leave him. And now you stuck in Dallas to meet somebody like me. <laughs> 
That nigga might not, that nigga might crash out and get 10 more years of that bitch. If he ever see a picture right now, <laughs> you know right. what's going on right now, he gonna kill somebody. What the hell? She on Bob's side. On Bob's side, yeah. You he didn't even know she was on Bob's side. You wrong for that. Because that's your for partner. Oh, that went to be right now. That, that, that's your back. partner that went to jail. As soon as he went to jail, you and your, you and your wife done brought his girlfriend up. <laughs> no, she, the, 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 she yeah. was working with us before what she was talking but, to but, us before. But, but, but once he got in tour with her and she said. She kind of like took his place. No, once he got in tour with her. So he get back, she no, holding him down on the post, though. No, no, once he got in tour with her and they cussed each other and said, it's over, it's probably over with you too. No, you him first. No, you knew him first. No. That man said, right on that trip for years. I'm going to tell you how this go. It's so knitted that when they get mad at each other, we talk them back together from without and within the oh, prison system. Over, no, 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 she it, still talked to him the other day. She, it, matter of fact, she's still over. around his family right now. I understand that, but that shit over now. No, nah, this ain't over. You have put this girl face out for me and let them know that her nigga locked she up. She already had social media. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, it don't matter. You <laughs> said that. not my man. I, see, that, see she <laughs> lying. She's lying and he locked up. That's wrong. That is wrong. No, nah, but that's wrong. You see him on the picture right there. He ain't going nowhere. It don't matter. That's that is wrong. <laughs> he and she's denying it. Is that wrong? Now she, now okay, let's let that talk. Star, what do you think? Do you think that uh, is, 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 is Money Moses boss talk forever, first of all? Yes, I, for sure. You already knew that, didn't you? Yeah. 100%. But but what happened uh, when he got locked up? You y'all just had some different had little arguments, mm-hmm. and I told you what I tell you. I said you need to get it straight, mm-hmm. and and w- they they link back up. He's apologized. Everybody everything's rolling. She'll be here for him. She just you know how niggas do when they get locked up. Go on, do what you do when I come nah, on. Not me. You want to be faithful for five years, ten years, nigga, twenty years? You better not fuck nobody. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, all you can think you about. You want to die? Oh yeah, what? I think, <laughs> nigga, what? I'm sending niggas to the house. What you think? Well, <laughs> go to Instagram and see what she did in that story. <laughs> nigga, what? I'm doing that free. Think about it. Like, no, like, you can't do that. I'm a pay that's nigga. That's a hard time, nigga. Man, listen, that's, that's, that's hard time. But it's more hard to think about. All you could think about is somebody, if, if this girl doing freaky shit to somebody like she was doing to you. Because the only thing you got is memories in jail. <laughs> a nigga can jack out by his memory. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's, that's straight up. You can jack out by his memory. So you thinking about this girl doing freaky shit. I think she, that was the last one that she, he was with before he went. Yeah, that's, what, that's what I'm saying. He's she, That's all he's thinking about right now. She, she fucking somebody like she was fucking you. No, nah, nah, y'all still, y'all, 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 y'all okay. We, we cool. Like I said, that's still my homie. <laughs> see, see, she keep denying it. She didn't say, she didn't say, nah, I ain't fucking nobody, I ain't doing none of that. I'm celibate, I'm waiting for him to come out. I'm waiting on Jesus, I'm waiting for a ring. She didn't say nothing. She, she, she never said the words to make you feel okay, comfortable that I got a good girl. That, uh, so at the end of the day, if you find a good man, you, I mean, or you going to let give, you, you give him really some ass. If we really want to talk about it, yes. if we really want to put it out there, like I had literally just met this man. So mm. you, know, you can't don't do that because uh, I'm gonna check you on that. Right. I'm, just, I'm I mean, gonna check you on that because on your honest. birthday you was on the phone with him. I, we was in LA. Yeah. You was acting like y'all was together. Wasn't they together? So don't come over here acting like y'all. I gotta defend it. I mean, you fine. was together with him. He had your car here. How long? When you you said, left your you damn car man. here. And moved that. How long was it? He flew so it was only, Did you we fly was, him to Atlanta? You flew. Did you fly him to Atlanta? Did you fly him to Atlanta? No, he paid for himself to come to Atlanta. He flew to Atlanta. He was so happy y'all. No, no, no. What she found, what she did, I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. <laughs> you might need to go to counseling. She ran, she ran to a regular Dallas nigga. That, 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 a Dallas nigga, a, a Dallas nigga, listen, a Dallas, a Dallas nigga, I don't mean to say this more, so I'm just be real. A Dallas nigga, a broke Dallas nigga can fuck the hell out you, make you think you're in love in 30 days. You got 30 <laughs> days, and you get this girl that, hard, nice, hard, broke dick. It, 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 it didn't yeah. even go down like that. What do you mean? No, so, like, how I met him, because I was moving, I was moving from Dallas. To Atlanta. And oh, he I, didn't catch you in, Atlanta, in Dallas. Right. He So I um, actually knew a friend of his, mm-hmm. and I needed somebody to help me move. So his friend couldn't do it. He like, let me call one of my homies up, which was... Money Moses. Money Moses. That, that broke nigga. So... <laughs> I ain't gonna help a nigga move. <laughs> that's, that's, so that's, that's he helped me move. Mm-hmm. So while I was gone. I said, look, do you mind watching my things where I'm, I'll be back in a couple my of months? My car and everything. My car. My apartment? Mm-hmm. My car, my... So let me ask you a question. Did, you, so, did, wait? did he fuck before then? No. No. Okay, okay. No, because I, I was leaving in the process. Right, so right. I had just met him. He just helped me move. Right. Left my things or whatever. Um, And so two months in, you know, of course I have to talk to this person who got my things. Yeah. So I gotta, I'm talking to you every day or every yeah. other day. Yeah. So granted, yes, we on the phone. 
you know, we stopped flirting. We liking each other. Then it was just kind of like, okay, he came to visit me one time. And the one time he came to visit me, it was around my birthday. So, yes, I wanted something. It's my birthday. And, my, and it's Valentine's so, Day. So, so, how, oh, so how long after you met him? He hit that shit. Oh, 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 yeah. he, but he only hit... He only hit after a long period of time of working on that ass. <laughs> <laughs> like a nigga in jail. <laughs> like a nigga in jail. <laughs> and and, and, and money mother knows she done left her things in his car here. That yeah. nigga got a free car. You know what I used to do for a <laughs> car. Oh my God. <laughs> when I was broke, I used his yeah. nigga to survive. Yeah. So that was yeah. a Dallas nigga. He I, had I, a car I, too I mean, though. But be, because he had a car as well now. No, no, but her drive I, car better. Yeah, he rolled it. He see money mom's car, the tax was out and everything. <laughs> so, so when he got this car, he rolled around free to like, shout out to my nigga yeah, money, like free money Moses, man. Yeah, Jody, yeah, he was like Jody. My, my 22 is fucked up too. Oh, wait, well, it don't matter. You got to get him fixed. You don't blame money Moses because yeah. he kept the car. So so yeah, look, so he flew out there. Did y'all you got to keep gas in the car, oil in the car, water in the car. Y'all flew out there. This is a good story. He did what he had to do. This is a good I mean, story for TikTok. So y'all flew out there. He had to get back to work and get to Boss Yep. So he flew out there and y'all had intimate. I was being cool. I was Wait a minute, yeah. No, I didn't. No, he, she, she so didn't fly he, back. I never flew back. So he flew with me to L.A. after that, didn't he? Right, he yeah. flew to L.A. I flew him to L.A. Oh, so with me. So you, you ain't seen him no more after uh -uh. after the first? The, no. no. I have, have not seen that man. Oh, and then you, so when did you break up with him? When that's wrong. Talking, that's wrong. Crazy while he was in jail. Yeah, he went off on her ass. I tried to while help him. Why he got locked up? Why he got locked up? I tried. I helped him. Call he went off on her ass. I called a lawyer. And I knew he went off. I even got scammed while he was locked up, sending him money. A motherfucker scammed me. Yes. Oh, so he never had no fresh time. No, he just got to he got to get in that ass quick. Go to L.A. Get back locked and up. He got locked and up. And that's your boss up. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Damn. He never had no first time. No. He didn't have no chance. That, but we going to keep wrong. his name alive that, while he gone. That, no, that, yeah, we going to do that. No, 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 no. She don't want, she really didn't have no part of him. It was really because this see, look. Yeah, it look. wasn't. She damn playing it. It wasn't really nothing there, like you know what I'm saying? Cause she, I, I'm, I live there. He lives. Free here. money, Moses, and if it wasn't for money, Moses, she wouldn't be on this show right now. I'm not gonna play with y'all about money, Moses. <laughs> okay. Nah, nah, he did. This what, is what about keep it real. So he did know? what a Dallas nigga do. He from Monroe. <laughs> hey, listen, we grew up on Monroe, but he learned this game in Dallas. <laughs> listen, we grew up with chat lines. I was on the chat line. You know how I many long distance relationships I had. I mean. I'm still talking to hoes. It's been 20 years ago. I ain't never seen them hoes in my life. But Say. the first time I come around them, I'm giving all I Listen, got. Listen, man. The problem, I, I just needed somebody to talk to. No, I'm in, no. I'm in Atlanta. I don't know nobody. No, in but you wrong. I'm you, not talking you to them. You wrong for that. You wrong for that so. because he just went off because because at the end of the day you he went off because the situation he was in. He felt like you his bitch. Well, that's 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 a personal problem. See that that's that top this black girls. <laughs> I want to talk about black girl. That nigga, that, nigga, that nigga took his hard money and flew to Atlanta. Yeah. Got some, he probably gave it all. He he got yeah, right straight up took a risk of getting burnt everything, yeah. and don't know this girl like that. Flew back talking to this girl cool, and then the worst thing possibly could happen to him is he get locked up. I, was, I don't hold nobody down. Look, so. oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling y'all, I want to tell y'all. I was not I've been, been there. I was engaged. Oh, oh, now it's getting serious. So, the fact that I was engaged serious. and my fiance went to jail for some dumb, stupid shit. Okay, that ain't money. I'm playing money. But I'm just saying. I hold him down for the three months he was in jail for. Three and months? Three months. Three months. You got to go three years. Yeah, three years. Yeah, three that's, months. That's, and shit, 90 days. How, how much time did <laughs> he get? He got three Can't months. Can't even build no credit with three months. So, you hold him down for the time he was there. The time, I mean, we, was together, we was together almost two years. And but he, he was only in jail for three months. Right. So, let me tell you. Okay. He, when he got out, he ended up cheating on me, and this is my fiance. But so I'm not, I'm not doing what that. Well, Papoose, uh, I'm not holding no man Papoose, down. You uh, should, you should have made sure your license was straight. It can go either way. Either way. Do we got money? Men, Do we got money? He should have made sure he was a scammer. He should have made sure. Oh, he jugs. <laughs> so do you miss? Do you do you miss the situation? Do I miss the situation? Yeah, because everything was free. Uh, I mean. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> they, you were from the scam to Money Moses. <laughs> Whoa, don't you talk about Money Moses? No, 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 offense, I mean, to him. no offense to him. I mean, it put some money in my pocket. So you shit. was you a dancer? Why? Oh about shit! <laughs> no, because no, you got a dancer mentality. Listen. <laughs> 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 that was years no, ago. No, yes, yeah, you, years I know ago. you was. What club? What club? In Dallas? It's Chicago. Okay, so listen. She got. I ain't seen you. I ain't. I ain't, I ain't she, got I ain't, anything I ain't real over here, so, baby. I, know, I ain't seen your social media that, right? The, so this the problem. Social media wouldn't. No, uh, nobody know that. Okay, but this I the mean, problem. They you, do now. They do now. But, but it's the it's the black women in this in this culture. They don't have no hearts. 
They don't have no hearts. What you mean? I got heart. No, you don't. How come I got You don't. Tell me why I ain't got no man, heart. Man, this man right now laying in a boat right now thinking his girl is gone. You can make a day happy just by saying we we but cool. But it's not. We but cool. if he knew how to communicate, if he knew how to communicate, and know how to talk, I would not. We heard on the phone. But you can't talk to me any kind of way. I mean, I had somebody who messed with my mental before. You're not gonna yell at me. You're not gonna talk to me any kind of way. I'm not dealing with that. I'm not. I'm not dealing with that. Well, Moses not like that. Well, when he showed me a different side of him, when he's not locked up, when you locked up, you're not yourself. <laughs> you're not, you, you're a totally different nigga. Well, even, you gotta worry, even you gotta before, worry about this no, nigga well, so to fight you. Even before he got locked up, we was having little issues. Why, what the issue was? Just, just communicate, being able to nah, communicate. Nah, you, you even said the problem is Money Moe with Tim the Dick. <laughs> and I'll be the same way. <laughs> I'll be the same way. Money Mo flew out there, had y'all think they was in love. He went out there, got him some ass, and turned it to a. Uh, well, my friend do tell me I love bomb people, but. Uh, you I, know what? Love bomb? What does that mean? Yeah, that's easy. Me think about that. What you bombing niggas with your love? Nah, you lay up, you lay up, and she probably, after y'all have sex, she probably get, lay on your shoulder <laughs> and listen to her and say, hey, babe, babe, can you give me this, babe, you'll get that? And you got money more, he out in the lounge, like, babe, this, babe, that. And she let the girl let him drive the car, I'll fall in love too. <laughs> That's the truth, right? Right or wrong? You, you, do you lay up with niggas calling babe? What you call Bob? Uh, no, that's, that's not what I mean. So what you mean? What, what you mean? it mean? Do you make people feel like they the special what you love? One? How you I love Bob? I know you do. You but, make people like special one. I do. I do make people feel special. You'll make somebody fall in love with you in a month, right? I, I, I have. Weeks. Yeah. See, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, what? I mean. I would go. I, I go weeks, too. I know how I feel to be money Moses. I would have nothing. I had you nothing. I can't say that. Okay, thank you. Shout out to Money Mo. I'm glad you got out of that situation. God moved you out of this situation. I mean, the girl. God for moving you out of that situation. Removed you from this this treacherous love bombing, bro. He had his own issue going on with his baby mama before he met me. You know what I'm saying? And and that was his his way out. That was the way to shit on the baby mama. I got this beautiful girl. This is another great segment of Boss Talk 101. Make sure you guys check out this next clip that's coming. Rainwater that went crazy on here with Starships and Rockets. Lil P. Pinky, it's going down, man. Check out this next clip coming at you right now. Boss Talk 101, what a boss is told. And we out.